You're now tuned into me, 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 million dollars worth of game. Let me yeah. say this. We here with two young NFL stars, but I'm gonna say this. Tank Dale came in, I sized him up. I said, there's no way in the world. Yeah. There's no way in the world. If I got my cleats on, he ain't got a chance in hell. I'm locking him up the whole game, talking shit to him, pushing him around. He's just gonna be frustrated. He's gonna be looking at the refs like, you all over me, Grant. Grabbing him up. Tap. Oh, there's no way in the world I'm going, it's not gonna happen. Now, if I'm coming off that line, it's going to be a bad Sunday for CJ coming <laughs> off that line. And once I come up, once I get that off, I'll spin around, he's going to just see me all day. He'll be like, that shit don't even sound believable. CJ's going to see me all day like, that shit sound like a full of shit. I'm going to touch him every, every play he see me coming. So, you know, it's just That's me right. talking about my athleticism. And back in the day, I'm just reminiscing of when I was uh, playing for Penn State the and doing my thing. That's fun. I'm just saying I'm out of state. Eddie was an all pro state pen center. No, no. I was, I was, I was, he I was, loved for me to be behind to be him like this. I was too shy to be in the shower. Ain't no one no way. Yeah, in the showers. Yeah, 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 Shotty, get me. I'm going to say this. We sit here with Tank Dell and CJ Stroud, yes. man. I, you feel what I'm saying? I want to touch on a moment, right? The first time I ever met CJ, I, didn't, I ain't going to lie. You know, for me being out the game, once I messed my ACL up, I didn't really know about the game. I wasn't studying the game. So I'm in Michigan, right? Mm -hmm. He caught it. I'm coming out the tunnel. I got the Michigan stuff on. I'm a World Wild West. They playing Ohio State. It's CJ and them all. Like, Yo, what's up, man? Where Gil at? I'm like, everybody, you got the whole Michigan. All the people, I'm Michigan. Up. They looking at me. I don't know what's going on. I don't know how to ride. <laughs> so you start. I don't know. I'm like, what's up, y'all? What's going on, right? <laughs> they look, I'm dabbing them up and all that. I'm like, damn, he, you know, because I don't know. I don't know. You know what I mean? I ain't been tuned to the game for a while because I've been out. I had a bad little taste of the game because ever since I messed my ACL up. <laughs> <laughs> it was just bro, hard for me to see the game, bro. right? You shit. And I mean, but they keep telling me, where Gil I'm like, because they, they always inquire to you, like, you the athlete of the family. So it's just crazy. <laughs> but I want to get right into it. I want to get into a real topic. And I want to say, first of all, Tank, you know, sorry for what happened to you, your situation. Uh, and I want to, you know, I'm just happy that it didn't get, you know, where the environments we come from, it could have went any way. And uh, how do you feel? You're going back home, trying to show love to your town. You know, everybody, when they make it, you got, you got to go back home to get the love, to right. show people what success is, um, support what's going on in the community, sometimes football camps or whatever. Like, how did you feel going through this whole situation, man? Shit, first off, uh, I'm blessed, you know. Um, to me, it was just wrong place, wrong time. You know, I went back to see my mom. I wasn't even planning to go back and um, go to the little pool party or whatever, but... You know, my boy started, I was home, so they hit me up. They was like, pull up to the party. They told me it was gonna be security, check, people getting checked at the door, stuff like that. So I'm like, all right, cool, it's good vibe. And it was a lot of people that I knew in there, so it was like, cool. And then, it just, that shit just popped off out of nowhere. Like, it just went south out of nowhere. And I thought I removed myself from the situation. Like, when you see on the video when I ran across, I thought I removed myself from the situation, of the little altercation when they was fighting. But I put myself in the middle of like two people. Man, it just went crazy. Now, we happy you here and we happy you didn't get, it wasn't worse than that, you know? And I know being in that type of situation, I know it's a scary situation, knowing everything that you got and everything, you know, the world looking at you now, you know, but it's like everything you got to lose is just, I know it might make you more cautious. Yeah. And it's sad that some of us can't even go home to be able to support our towns and it's fearful there. Um, and a lot of people don't go back, you know what I mean? So I know it's a lot in your mind about how do you move further in this? Yeah. And then you got the season, the team and all that. Now, CJ, how did you feel knowing that you're the leader of your team and hearing what happened to take you back? You're like, what? Like, how did you feel? You know, it's kind of crazy. I was actually in Philly. Mm -hmm. uh, I was with my man, Michael Rubin and okay. Michael Parsons. Shout the, out to Mike. Yeah. yeah, so I was there at the 76ers versus the Knicks. Yeah. Um, and I'm having a good time, you know, uh, I was just in New York, like I, me and Tank was just talking when I was there. So it was like, you know, it was cool. I, I was enjoying the game. My first, like one of my, like it's like my probably like my second or third time ever seeing course high. So man, I'm living a dream, you know, like yeah. grew up doing, like trying to do this. Like got a, a great brother of mine, Ruben, who, you know, who invited me and Mike and, and Micah. So I'm like, man, I'm having a good time. I go after the game, the Sixers lose. So the, the vibe is down in the arena. Yeah, and like, yeah. that kind of just fell off to me, you know, like, you know, you come to Philly, you're like, you think like, you know what I'm saying, the vibe usually be up no matter what going on. So like, it just fell off and then I get a text 
and it was from our, our PR guy. He was like, hey, um, he was like, I, I just want to let you know, like, what happened last night. Um, and all I read after that, he sent like a whole long paragraph, but all I read was Tank got shot, and I dropped my phone. And I yeah, did, like, and I, I started tearing up, man. I'm like, you know, like when you, like when you hear that, you think of the worst. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So like, first thing I could have did was just I just said a prayer, you know, and my boys was with me. Mm-hmm. Uh, one of my best friends, Kayla, was with me. He seemed like I was down. I, he asked me what happened, and like why I was like like tearing up. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, man, they said like Tank got shot. I'm like, man, like. All the plans we had, you know, like and like by the glory of God, nothing that happened, you know, yeah, and like God is good. God is great, you know. He, sure. he he you know saved my boy from a from a tragic situation. But like, you know, not only was it eye opening to me, but I think for everybody, like, you know, we can't just we not like we, even though we know that we normal, we mm-hmm. regular still. Like mm-hmm. maybe like the people around us, they still don't know that. So like they still bring us around them environment. So like it was a good moment for me to realize that like, man, I can't go home and do the same things that I yeah. was doing too. Because sometimes when I go home, I that's where I'm comfortable at, you right. know, it's like going yeah, to the pool absolutely. parties, right. going to the bowling alleys or right. like the skating rinks or, right. you know, to the house parties. Like, just the people I grew up with, like, I ain't changed. Like, right. that's because I, I got a little bit of money. But, you know, you know, for that moment to happen like that quick, man, it was like an eye-opening experience, not only for Tank, but really for the rest of the world, like athletes all around, you know. So, right. you know, it's a blessing, you know, to have a brother like this. And, you know, now I know he's going to tell his story and it's going to, you know, I feel like God put his... Uh, his toughest soldiers through his toughest battle so we can, you know, be better equipped for what we're going to go through, but more importantly, what other people need to hear, right. you know. So, you know, I'm, I'm I'm proud of my brother. You know, he came back tenfold, you know, and he coming for it all. And we both is, man. We always talk about yeah, just a takeover, you know, seven to three, yeah. you know, and hopefully be that uno. Let me just say this, though. Big. I just want to say one thing that is a blessing, though, for you yeah. is that is actually a video that came out that shows what happened, and it's not some people that have to Make put some mistake. up in their mind what happened. Well, he probably was in there arguing with somebody, yeah, going exactly. back and forth. This happened. You, they get to see it. Like, no, he was chilling. Yeah, he actually was trying to get out the way. Yeah, clearly. He, so that that was the blessing in all of it that you hear. You was able to bounce back, and it's a video that cleared you of any bullshit that they could have tried to throw out there yeah, on you. Yeah, facts. You know what I mean? Because that be the main thing. When there ain't no video, people make assumptions. Yeah. Now you hearing on the ESPN and you hear in certain places, they talk about, well, I heard it was an argument that popped off yeah. and uh, they said Tank was a little aggressive. Yeah, you like, the argument there with y'all talk. So I'm glad that it was able to show what was happening and you was able to be like, okay, y'all see I wasn't on the bullshit. I told yeah. y'all the truth. I told y'all what happened, y'all see the truth. So I'm glad that was able to come out for you and it wasn't a thing where people had to put some together. Yeah, me too, for sure. This episode of Me and Isles Worth a Game is brought to you by New Amsterdam Vodka. Now life ain't going your way. Shout out New Amsterdam Vodka. You caught your woman cheating today. Shot of New Amsterdam vodka. You thought that check was coming and it didn't come your way? Shot of New Amsterdam vodka also is also good for pre-gaming as well. So when you're out and about at your local liquor store, don't you just walk past that? You know what to do. Uh, 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 uh. Boop! Get it home. Put it on ice. You can drink it straight up. Juice, soda. Whatever you like, or you could just make a classic New Amsterdam meal. That's up to you. But when you're out and about at your local liquor store, you know what to do. Get you some New Amsterdam vodka. That would be the official vodka of Barstool Sports. I'm going to say that one more time. That would be the official vodka of Barstool Sports. New Amsterdam vodka. It's no better choice. Right. Sure. Moving forward, as the one of the team leaders is you gonna have a conversation with the players like about going home, about you know, you know, summer coming, all type of stuff. Right. Like, is you preparing yourself for a conversation or just have them be more cautious? And it's sad because you go home to get to relax, right. see your peoples, and it's like, like how do that go from here? Like, yeah, it's a, it's a, um, it's a step that needs to be taken. I feel like, like, not even just in football, but in you know, and. 
and, and sports in general. And I think the conversation doesn't necessarily need to be as a team. I think it needs to be with when you go home, the cats you seeing or like people watching this, like, you know, my homeboys watch this, they gonna be like, dang, y'all was on Million Dollar Wars game. Like yeah. they gonna see it and like, and my thing, my, my, my opportunity to say this to them is like, man, it's y'all opportunity. I mean, it's, it's y'all responsibility too. Put some like protection on You know what I'm saying? Like it, y'all proud of us, you know, and like we the ones that made it out, quote unquote, you know, but like, it's not just about like us, you know what I'm saying? Like we know we need to be careful, but like at the same time, I feel like those watching this, like really our culture, like we need to start putting- it's culture, yep. yeah. Protection need, on the people that exactly. make it out. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. And then like just hope, like I think like yeah. something like that we bring that, you know, that to our neighborhoods, like where we come from is hope, yeah. inspiration. And that stuff is priceless, but it means the world. Right. And it's not like to all those, like, even like for the haters that don't like love to see what we doing, like, it's not about me and you, whatever, like you yeah. mad at me it's for. It's about the kids. You know what I'm saying? It's about the community. Like I look at like the Nip situation, like. Yeah, Nip, that's a piece of Nip. That's where I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm right. from those neck of the woods, you know, mm -hmm. from an IE, which is like an hour away. But like, um, you know, seeing that, seeing Nip be my, one of my heroes growing up mm -hmm. and him to get taken out from a hater, mm -hmm. you know, it's like, man, like, he don't understand the, just the positivity he he stopped. Right. Like he like Nick was rolling right. and he was just getting started. Like right. just finna start the Dr. Sebi stuff, the documentary. Educating people. You know what I'm saying? With and he's been insp uh, been an inspiration to us since we've been kids. You know, same struggle. Like he like about that life. You know, like and you know it's kind of like similar to me. It's like who are who you got around you. You right. know what I'm saying? So like I had to like self check myself and like I got this video I I'll be watching on on Instagram. Uh, of this pastor I watched, uh, his name is Ken, and I think he's out in Milwaukee. He works with Giannis, mm -hmm. and he talks about like your circle. Yeah. He was like, your circle is around you, and you say like, I move to the right, and y'all move with me. That's cool. I move to the left, they move with me. That's cool. Now, like when you start going right and left, and they like Standing keep through. you blocked, yeah. that's when you gotta release yourself. And for me, man, I've had like some real hard conversations over the, these past couple months, man. Like. Like, it's not that I changed, it's just like the expectations changed. Right. You, know I mean? you know what I mean? So, right. and that's a whole different conversation, but like, man, I think I that's- gotta, You gotta need protect to talk the to expectations. Right. Because he got expectations, right? You a professional athlete. You gotta understand, the people y'all work for, they don't even know nobody that has ever been shot. And they like- Think about that. Yeah. We grow up in, in neighborhoods where we know got shot by the time we 10 years old, eight years old, nine years old. By the time we can come to grips with being shot is, we know somebody that got shot. The people you work for, they never seen anybody get shot. They like, I never heard no gunshots in my neighborhood. So to, to think that you went home and you was a part of a shooting, in their minds, you gotta look at it from their standpoint. They're like, hey, why would you even be in that atmosphere where you could get shot? Because I'm never in an atmosphere where I could get shot. Because they don't shoot people where I live at. But they don't understand that this is where I come from. This is where everybody that loved me and rooted for me to get out of here, this is where they're from. I ain't got enough money to say, I'm taking everybody with me. Mm -hmm. Mamas, aunts, uncles, cousins, brothers. <laughs> no, 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 no. I got my immediate family that I gotta take care of, but I can't do something for everybody. So once in a while, I might gotta come here to see a grandmother, a grandfather, because a lot of times they don't even wanna move. Right. They so comfortable in where they at, they like, no, baby, I don't wanna go nowhere. I ain't, you ain't taking me away from my peace, from my friends, from my, uh, uh. So a lot of times they don't wanna go nowhere. You gotta go back to just to see them, touch them, feel them, smell them, hug them, kiss them. It's crazy because that's how my pops was at first. Like my pops, he didn't wanna leave Daytona until this happened. Now they finna move out here, but right. like, until this happened, like my mom and them, they was like, nah, we get a crib out here, we good. Right. Like, now they on the way now, so. Man. Well, honestly, man, I like, I think like what you hit on the nail though is like, people put their expectations on you and the expectation is like, we made it, come home. Like we want to <laughs> yeah, see you, like right. we want to be around you. We want to feel what, yeah, what it feels like to be success, us. you know? But it's like, and, 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 and I feel like for me, like that's a, that's a wrong doing in its own. It's like, 
okay, we'll come home, but it's like, like we were talking about earlier, like, it gotta be some, like, rules and guidelines to this. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, or, like, don't make fun of me when I'm not. Right. Because, like, when you end up, like, oh, man, I, I, like, I know probably Tank is like that now after this situation. And, like, by the glory of God, I'm not like that yet where I still do go home. Because California's so big, you can get away from, yeah, yeah. from those yeah, parts. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But um, it's, it's come to a point where, like, if you don't come home, it's, oh, he changed up. Yeah. Oh, he weird now. Or he, he this, he this, his that. Well, I feel like as a culture, that's that's a problem that we have internally. Absolutely. That we like bag on those, or we start roasting those, or like right. doing doing like like doing uncalled for stuff, gossiping basic, basically right. yep. about yep. you know what I'm saying, not coming home. And now yeah. you feel peer pressure to go and and and, and you know what I'm saying, show that you're still real. Right. And, right. And, 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 and it can be complicated because you here trying to you know lock down everything that you work for and secure your position, but you at practice because you got a text from one of the one of your cousins or something, yeah, they talking about you because they see you don't come around. Right. You don't mess yeah, with so and so. You like, damn, I'm I'm doing something right. right. If I was around the way, it'd be cool with that though. So so it, it's a little it's a little hard. And then you got to deal with the fact of we come from a place where when you make it, you make it. Y'all might be the only people that ever made it from your family. So the whole family, cousins, you ain't see anybody thinking you did you did you did way out. You gonna buy them this. You gonna get them this. You just got all this money. They see the big contract, all the money. He give me, you know, he give me one fifty. He give me a hundred thousand. Matter of fact, cuz he give all four of us a hundred thousand. He got four million. He ain't gonna feel they it. They don't realize how that's not a lot. Of money. Like the no, they don't no, realize it's a lesson, lesson, but yeah, but you gotta understand. <laughs> and this is sad, and I'm gonna say this. A lot of times, only in the black communities do parents expect their kids to take care of them. Because majority of times in the white communities, they already live in the suburbs. They already live in good. They already got their in order. They credit already right. So when they kid make it, they like, no, you take care of you and your family. Me and your dad's fucking fine. We don't need nothing. When they just make it, your third cousin is sitting around talking about how much that contract was for. Man, he got 10 million. If he just came through and gave all us 50,000, he is still had 9 million left. Like, it ain't simple like that. Not even, you not even thinking, not even thinking. I'm just going to come drop a 50 ball on you for nothing because you my cousin. Yeah, not even thinking the 10 turned into five and only if you got a good accountant, it could turn into three playing the taxes. Exactly. Because you got to pay them taxes, right. but it could turn into five real quick if right. you ain't got a good accountant. Right. So now you're trying to figure that out. Cause you, when you first get the money, you like, hold up. These people I don't know when five million from me. Right. I don't even know Sam. He gotta get nobody telling you that. No, cause that's the thing is like we was just talking about before the cameras turned on the NIL space. Mm -hmm. I know I made some money, bro made some money. It's like you don't know until you know. Until man, you know. I got hit over the head. Yeah, me too. And like, I ain't even know. It man, I'm that. I'm lending people money. I'm you know what I'm saying buying what I want. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. And then Uncle Sam come knocking. What's up? Come here. And you gotta pay it, or you or you want to go to jail. It's like one of the two. Mm -hmm. You gonna do it because you know it's just the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. But it's like I feel like even now, like our schools gotta do better. You know, like our educating people. Yeah, cause, like because I said to myself that the sad thing about the NIL is it's a great thing. I, I want everybody to get right. their paper, but you got dudes getting all this money that's not going to the league. They might not make it to the league. And how you gonna get it? Like how you gonna you spent all the money? Right. So now you hit over the head. You out of you out of school. And you you owe them three hundred, four hundred thousand in taxes Man. that you ain't even know about. Cause as soon as the money hit, you, cause ain't nobody teaching these people right. financial literacy Absolutely. and educating them about had, the tax. And I've then had you take one a lot. financial class my whole life. One, and that was my senior in high school. I didn't learn. <laughs> I learned barely anything. <laughs> you learned like, nothing. Like you know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. learning about English and math and all this stuff that I'm never gonna use. But it's like. As I've gone older, I'm like, man, this is the stuff that is important in my life. Right. It's like money and how to manage it, how to use it, how to right. invest it, how to make it work for me. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I feel like now our school has got to do better when it's all right, from from the time you even learn what a dollar is, you should know how to multiply that. Like, let's use money as, you know what I'm saying? Now, since it's so important, you know, there's other things that we value, but like, you know, that's a necessity in our lives. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Now, now with you, Tank, remarkable. You ain't played the whole season, 11 games. You you go in there, yeah. 47 catches, over 700 uh, yards, uh, seven TDs. 
And you know what's funny about that? Remind me of my when I was playing in Penn State. Yeah, you the fuck had, out no, we had a familiar up, season. We had a familiar <laughs> season because I came in late. But but now yeah, we you had, had seven tackles, four butt rubs. No, I, didn't, I didn't do that. I didn't like, do that. <laughs> now now what's so crazy about this though? How do you now refocus? Because you had a you killed them. Like like now now it's like how do you reprogram and get your mind ready? Because I'm asking you this because what happened to you is a little different, but. People get that momentum in their life, and sometimes they get a setback, yeah. and they gotta reconnect with the energy that they had. How do you do that? You know, with me, you know, I use everything as motivation. So you know, this happened to me. At first, I ain't gonna lie. At first, it kind of took me for a loop. You know, I was praying, like, damn, like, why this happened? Cause I felt like I was hitting stride, like right when we was playing before, right before this happened. It was like three, four games where I felt like I was just like going and going, and then this humbled me. Like I'm, I'm always humble for sure, but like it humbled me for sure. So I'm like, damn, I got to set back, I got to um, get back right, like get my mind right. So once this happened, you know, I went straight back to work, cause I want it all, bro. I ain't gonna lie, I want everything and more. So I went straight back to work. You know, I've been working. I don't, I don't even think I had an off season to be honest. Like ask these boys. Like, soon as they told me I can walk, I was ready to run. Mm -hmm. Soon they told me I was ready to run. I was ready to cut. I was ready to do everything I wanted to do, like how I was before, but. I just had to just keep grinding, bro. And then, you know, I'm the type of person I be reading. I be I like to search my name sometimes and read what people are saying about me, cause that kind of give me more. It give me motivation for sure. Like people telling me like, oh, he's not this, he's not that. Receiver three, just a lot of shit that give me motivation. And then you got my mom and them back home, my little brother. They looking up to me. They telling me like how good I am. That just keep me going. And then I got seven. He always by my side, like. First person to come to the hospital once I got hurt, once the game was over, him, them boys back there too. Um, Caleb, them boys came to the hospital, they showing love, they sat down, when to talk. I'm in there, I'm like, man, I, I couldn't even talk, I'm in there crying, I'm like, bruh. But I just use everything as motivation. And then, you know, this another setback. Well, I don't really think this set me back. I probably was down for like, probably for me, for like a week. You had it in and out, huh? Yeah, I man, I was back yeah, I to work. Yeah, a few of them too was burning, wasn't yeah. it? Ooh, ooh, get me to the hospital. <laughs> ooh. <laughs> it's a little warm. <laughs> yeah, but I'm gonna say this to you though. I'm gonna say something very important to you. Uh, with all that, no matter what, if you got God, God got you. Nah, facts. It, it don't matter what come your way. It don't matter what the the media saying. It don't matter about you know the injury. It don't matter when you got God, God got you. And he's no, gonna no, show no, you got that guy in the hustle. Listen, yeah. that too. Oh, but we, but, you don't but, put no but, hustle in. Oh. You, you might be you, you know. I understand what you're saying, but like, <laughs> but if you got God, He got you. I want to say this like. How is it though, for both of y'all, to see now everything is about a click. And a lot of times, and I'm not saying everybody, but a lot of times in old school sports media, it turned into just a bash fest. Everything is about tearing, tearing down, yeah. tearing down. And we'll be having me shock because some of these people never stepped on the field or a court in their life. How do y'all deal with that being top flight athletes in not, you can have not so good game or whatever, and you got to hear somebody just ripping you down all over the internet, all over. How do how do y'all deal with that? Mm -hmm. right. Well, with me, I just you know, keep God first, and I know my brothers like I know how they look at me. They know what I am. They know what I bring to the table. They know how hard we work as a team, as individuals, stuff like that. So I don't really care what other people say. But what what be blowing me is like people can't congratulate somebody without tearing down another person, mm -hmm. especially in the league. Like you got fantasy and all this crazy stuff they going off of, man. They just be like. You don't hit they point, man, they own you, yeah. bro. Like, my yeah. DMs is crazy. From the season, it's crazy. Like, people telling me they'll kill me, do some, some wild wow. stuff. Yeah, people be saying anything. If you don't get them the people they money, who back in back at home in the trenches, you don't get them they money, they, they you feel me? They want something about you. So, I don't, really, I don't really pay attention to it. I used to, like, when the people, like, the higher up people, like, when they say stuff, that's what I use as motivation. Like, okay, he won't be the same. All right, Ben, let me go work out right quick. Like, mm -hmm. stuff like that. But other than that, I don't really pay attention too much. Yeah, for me, bro, it's like, I look at it on, like, two different, like, perspectives. Because, like, I feel like life is about perspective. So I look at it from, like, their perspective of, like, what they taught us how to handle it is, like, just put the blinders on. Like, don't pay attention. And to keep it real, that, that that's, like, it, it's some truth to that. But it's, it's hard. It's hard, bro. Like, that's the world we live yeah. in. We, yeah. I'm 22. He's 23. You know what I'm saying? It's like. 
that's just not real nowadays. Like we got social media, we can turn on the TV. They talking about us all the time, you know? Mm-hmm. So you gotta find, you know, you gotta find a different identity. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You gotta find your identity through something else. And that for me, that's, you know, through God. Like what, how does God see, how does Jesus Christ see me? You know what I'm saying? So like, that's another way, like I kind of just get away from it. But, you know, honestly, man, I think like there's gotta be, um, there gotta be more unity, you know? Cause you look at the league, man, like, and this is just a, a, a culture thing again, like, who who does the league make up of? Uh-huh. Black people. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? I feel like we always tear each other down, man. It's yeah. like we can't, like you said, you can't lift somebody else. You can't lift somebody up while not tearing somebody else down. Right. And to me, that and that's a problem. You know, um, you know, I, I come I come from an old school family. Like my dad raised me as like when you walking down the street, you see another black man, you salute him. You uh-huh. you you nod your head, you say hello. Uh-huh. You don't, you don't, you know what I'm saying? You don't um, disrespect him in any type of way. That's your brother. Uh-huh. From however you want to label it as, like, we're kings, you uh-huh. know what I mean? And um, I look at that as like media, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I look at my brothers and like guys like RC, uh, guys like RG3, uh-huh. you know, like, uh-huh. you know, I'm probably missing a whole bunch. Even like some of the people who aren't like us, like Dan Orlowski. Uh-huh. Um, and, you know, they also don't only just have great things to say. They criticize us in in, in right doing, which mm-hmm. is their job, mm-hmm. but they don't do it by tearing us down. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. And then you go on Twitter, like you said, like the parlays and fantasy and all this <laughs> crazy <laughs> world. Man, they like my thing is man, like, we gotta we gotta change the mindset of, of like man, we we acting how they want us to act. Right. Like like animals. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? I get like yeah, you put some cheese on something, like I I would be mad too, but it's like bro, if you don't if you're not willing to lose that, don't put that on no, that, yeah, bro. Don't put it on it. That's, that's how I feel with investments. And I feel like they don't right. understand. Like, I'm playing in the hardest, NFL man. is not easy, yeah. bro. Like, and, and these grown men getting paid, paid million too. of dollars. And they, they got to understand. I always say this. Don't I always say this when I go to the dice table? Every time I, I don't give, I don't care if I'm in Vegas. It don't matter where I'm at. Every time I go to a dice table, I say, Yo, why the f- is y'all so sad at the dice table? And then I immediately say, if you here with another mother pack money, get the fuck away from the table. If you here with your rent money, get the fuck away from the table. This is supposed to be leisure time. You're not supposed to be gambling if you can't afford to gamble. You're not supposed to be here. I gotta pay rent. Let me go see if I can rent my rent money. That's, that's never gonna work. Yeah. You're that's never exactly, gonna win like that's that. That's why you were saying uh, earlier. Are you saying like you you can have garbage? You gotta hustle too. Yeah. That ain't hustling, dog. Right. That's, 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 not, hustling. that's <laughs> not hustling. That's trying to get it cheap. Yeah. I like to be at the dice table with people like, oh uh, no, I got money to lose, and if right. I lose this, I'm leaving. I'm not never gonna be right. sad because right. I could afford to lose this. Right. Yeah. I'm not playing with my last. I'm not playing with my kids' money. I'm not playing with money right. out of my family. My we ain't gonna be able to eat it like that. So it just be a little different when you you playing fantasy football. Then first of all, you got that play fantasy football and, or that be gambling or whatever. They got an 18 team parlay with five dollars. <laughs> yeah, man. Like they want every they want everyone. You're never to gonna win. 18 things is not gonna happen right today for they, five dollars. But they set up for you to lose. Bro, they, they, they don't even win it. He's going to try to kill. I'm going to get a million dollars off this ticket. Right. Right. He bet $5. They be like $20 like to a grand back. All, these, back $20. all these 18 things. Which they got to run back. I win $44,000. He got to get an interception. Off of $5. You think this shit's going to happen? It's not. So a lot of times, a lot of people they don't They come at us, but No, I ain't, I ain't tripping. Like, I accept everything. Like My thing is. It's the truth, at though. At the other it side of that, truth, I'm, I'm talking about perspective. There's another side of everything. I accept everything that football brings. I love this game till, yeah, I, yeah, till I die. It changed my life. Facts. Man, I was down bad. Like, you know, I, I can go on and on and on. And I, I know there's plenty of things out there about like, how I grew up and, and everything like that. But like, man, this sport really changed my life. Yeah. So like, I don't care. Like, if I if I got to cut ties with anybody, like, it is what it is. Mm-hmm. Like, everybody course, can't go. That's everybody can't can, go. Can. And even these people, like these friends, I even have friends like, hey, fam, you think you gonna rush over half a yard today? <laughs> I'm like, bro, like, bro. I'm working, <laughs> dog. Like, I work my ass <laughs> off right here. My like, anyway, you asked me some, yeah, yeah you asked me some crazy. Like, come on, bro, like, I really I play like, the flow of the bro. game, bro. On, what are you bro? talking about? Bro, my thing is, I, I take what they give me. My thing I, swear is, I, I swear I block them after. Like, I don't talk to them for the rest of the season. Yeah. And when they, when they, hey, man, you, you ain't get my cards? Nope. Yeah. <laughs> I don't play. And then the league will come get you. They will. Yeah. The league will come they get you. About Especially this if you're like, yeah, I got you on yeah. this. Bro, my thing is, bro. This episode of Million Dollars Worth of Game is brought to you by Supercuts. <laughs> 
there's nothing more satisfying than making a smart choice. Am I right? Especially a smart hair choice. At some salons, you don't know what you're getting into. That's not true at Supercuts. They delivered close to 22 million cuts in 2023. In an average rating of 4.88 out of 5 stars. Why such high marks? I know that's what you're asking, right? Maybe because every Supercut stylist has an ongoing training way beyond what you receive at cosmetology school. For your next haircut, use your head. Head to your local Supercuts. Real smart hair. For real smart hair experience, simply walk into Supercuts or visit Supercuts.com to find a salon nearest you. Supercuts. What are you waiting for? To get your tie dyed and laid to the side. It don't matter what style you're looking for. They got it at Supercuts. Supercuts. Go get done up. Done right. Real smart hair. Right. They act like we not trying to go out there and, like, this how we get paid. So they act like we not trying to go out there and make everything happen. Like, right. bro, we want to catch every pass, right. score every touchdown, right. tackle everybody, do whatever. But reality, bro, it's football, bro. It's like, football. It ain't going to happen. Get paid ever. millions of dollars Yeah, too, like, right. it ain't going to happen like that. To not let you catch him. Right. Exactly. To not let you stop him. But let's, get, let's talk some real football. Because last year you was a rookie. No disrespect to Lamar Jackson, Patrick Mahomes, None of them. I felt as though the MVP of the season last year was you. I, when you look at what the MVP means, that means the most valuable player, right? Y'all drafted where? Two. Because y'all wasn't that good. The Ravens was expected to be up here, right? If you look at every... Mock pre, oh, they're going to win 13 games. Oh, Kansas City was expected to be up here. Your expectations was right here. They brought in a quarterback, and now they're up here. If you got to go off the MVP, you got to go off who's having the best season right. based off expectations. Expectations, you said they put a lot of expectations on us. Your expectations, what was your over and under? Four games, maybe? Yeah, they said we was going to win like three, yeah, two to they three tried, or four. Yeah, they tried us at first. So if you ended up in the playoffs, who's the MVP? That's just how I, and it's Bro, no disrespect like because yeah. <laughs> Lamar had a great season. Uh, Patrick Mahomes had a great season. They, they both had great seasons. But when you go off based off of expectations, they wasn't supposed to be shit and they battling with y'all to go to the Super Bowl. The kid gotta be the MVP. Bro, I was sending dude messages like throughout those, like especially when I got hurt and I'm just watching the games, I'm sending them, especially like after who we played, Cleveland. I'm like, yeah, bro, you wrapped it up, you got it now, it's over with. So when the um thing came out, like congrats to Lamar, oh, didn't he win it? Yeah. Congrats to Lamar for sure, cause he that guy, but yeah, he's, well, he he's didn't win, guy. and I'm like, nah, what's going on? This shit weird. Well, I mean, I appreciate you saying that for sure. I think uh, they didn't want to give it to a rookie. That's just my, yeah, I think it got to be. It's a lot of things, man. It's a lot of politics that play into that I learned. Um, and I've been getting this treatment since college. You know, like, I thought at least I should have won one Heisman. I went to the Heisman. I was a Heisman finalist twice. Twice, yeah. Um, and I feel like, man, I for sure should have won one. But, yeah. like, when, actually, it's funny because the, uh, the reason I feel like I lost the first one and Bryce won, shout out to Bryce, he definitely, you know, deserved it. But um, I, after I met Gil, um, it's kind of backstory before I get back to, on track. So uh, we was after the game, uh, and I was high, because we lost to the team up north. Um, Who they is, what team? That's the M team. Yeah. No. Um, it's respect to those guys, because they beat me. You know, I got to show respect to where mm -hmm. I, I took an L, and it made me a better player now, mm -hmm. like just keeping it real. I, I probably never even said that before. And, Ohio State fans probably would be mad at me, but nah, that's just the truth, man. I mm -hmm. became a better player from those L's, which I wish I we won, but it mm -hmm. is what it is. But I met Gil, and um, so before the game, we was hyped. You know, after the game, we yeah. lost, so we, I was a little upset. And I remember a, a unk came up to me, uh, William Bless you, who we talking about. And, you know, I, I didn't know him at all, and I only knew you, and y'all were standing, I don't know if you yeah. remember this. Mm -hmm. And I was talking to one of my best friends, his name is Christian Dixon, he plays receiver up there. Yeah. And, um, 
I grew up with him. It's like my twin. It's my brother. And I'm talking and like we having a deep conversation about like the loss. And I'm man, I'm upset. Like I'm damn near crying. And you came up to me and and uh, and y'all just gave me like just before a million dollars worth of game. Like I even stepped foot on this couch. Y'all gave it to me right then yeah. and there. Like just like keep my head up. You know this yeah. is gonna make you. This like whatever don't break you make you. Like y'all gave me a whole bunch of game. You know, and I just say, man, I appreciate it. You know, yeah. like it meant a lot because you know I've been looking up to y'all yeah. since all the way back then. Yeah, Plus so. that, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So you know, I like y'all give us us y'all give us our flowers all the time. So I just want to give y'all y'all's like thank you, y'all man. really helping us, man. Appreciate you know, like I've been watching y'all for a minute. Thank you. So man. like even like you said when we was on the phone the other day, like the fact that y'all get some of the people like that y'all get on y'all couch or like wherever the the setting is to like talk to y'all, we ain't gonna get that where we come from, you know. Man. So like it means a lot to like be able to have a platform that's free on YouTube or whatever the case may be, and to like see how our heroes think and how they operate and how right. they work and how so like man, I took I took y'all podcast, I ran with it, bro. Notes, like how does KD think, you know, how does my favorite artist think, you know what I'm saying? Like some of my favorite players been on here, so right. you know, I just appreciate y'all giving us like a a, a back, like a back dough cut to like dudes like how they think because mm -hmm. that's what we want to be yeah you know what i'm saying we want to be passed in because we want to be better but like and they know that you know but um i just want to say i appreciate y'all for that for yeah, sure thank you man we appreciate now, you too man now uh you know I mean? something important there's a lot of kids growing up in america all different colors but a lot of times predominantly black parents is incarcerated how was you able to stay focused pops in jail how would you able to stay focused to keep going and don't fall straight. Cause a lot of us, when our parents go down, especially your dad, you start looking for a leadership mm -hmm. in the streets. How did you stay focused and stay on that straight path even though your dad was in prison? Um, you know, that's a great question. You know, um, at first, you know, it was that, you know, it was something like that I had to grow out of. Um, and, you know, I had to like really, cause my pops been my best friend since, man, the time I was born to about like 11, 12 years old. And he had like his little relapses and, you know mistakes that he made you know and you know at that age like you don't understand you just like man my pops like he just did me foul it's kind of what my mindset was mm -hmm. like you know like and that at that point you like man how am i gonna like get my payback like you know what i'm saying like mm -hmm. it's like how do i get my revenge quote unquote not on him but just like to the world mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so it's like for for me bro it was like man i had to really do some soul searching and at first it was you know going down that route like trying to like fend for myself, you know, I, my mom was struggling, so I try to provide for myself in certain ways. And, you know, uh, you know, I think one thing for me, bro, is like God always brought me back to ball. So that's how like now I know this is meant for me, you know what I'm right. saying? I know like I'm doing like what I, my purpose is, you mm -hmm. know? And um, it was funny cause some years back, my boy Baron always says it. He says, um, your passion is greedy, but your purpose is for others. And, you know, it, it, I had to go through these turmoils and these and these hard times and these times where, man, sometimes it wasn't eating. I had roaches in the cereal, like, man, like, my mama couldn't afford me new cleats, my feet bleeding. I got one contact playing, like, I can't see, like, out there on the field. Like, and I'm still making plays, I'm still making it do because, you know, like, my passion is football and that's greedy, but, like, my purpose was those, you know, for those hard times. So, knowing my, my purpose is to give back to others and inspire, mm -hmm. you know? So, like, um, you know, it was hard, man. Like, I had, a, I had a really soul search and even find forgiveness for my dad. You know, it was a time in my life where it was, um, uh, you know, just a lot of confusion. And, like, the best thing for it was communication. But when you're young, you don't do that. You just go and fight, fight it. You fight it. You fight it. And then I finally got to actually, this is my first time I'm saying it, I got to go see my dad um, about last month. And that was, like, when I mean communication. Like, I had to sit down and, like, talk to him about everything. Like just like black and white. And yeah. I've talked to my dad plenty of times over the phone, you know, yeah. forgave him around like senior year of high school. At least I thought I did. But when I sat down with him this past time, like I really forgave my dad right there. Right. I was calling, I man, the first time I felt like a little boy, so I've been 11 years old. Yeah. From 11 years old, I felt like a grown man. And like that because moment- Because you I had to man up. I had to man up. I had you to sit down and like fight my fears of like right. what I thought. I thought I was a man before that moment. I was not, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I sat down, looked my dad in my eye, in his eyes and not on, not, I, and it wasn't like no bashing session or nothing. I told him, man, I love you, man. Like, I understand. I understand now. Right. Because I'm a grown man now. Right. And I got to fend for our family now. Right. And I got to be the man in, yeah. in, the, in the head of the household. Right. So, you know, it was actually, like, super beautiful, man, like, to be able to, you know, sit down with him and really 
fellowship as a man. Because last time we talked in person was a, I was a child. Yeah. We weren't on the same mental, yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? Now we talk about bills and Uncle Sam and yeah. what's going on with yeah. the work and, uh, like, you know, women in my life and, like, whatever the case may be, you know, my mom, how they doing? And it was just a beautiful moment, man. So, like, you know, to, all, to say all that, man, I'm blessed, man. I, I wouldn't go back and change anything, you know. Of course, I want my dad to be here. But, you know, like, that's coming. It's coming soon, yeah. you know. And I'm super blessed, yeah, you know, to have... You know, God willing, man. You know, I'm super blessed to have these connections that I do and these people like y'all, yeah. you know, that and we just talked about it while and yeah. I got Michael Rubin who's helping yeah. me and you know, um Jessica Jackson, my guy Scott Bugnick, a whole bunch of people who are trying to help. So, you know, it's it's gonna come soon, God willing. Yeah, now let me, now let me ask you this. Hold up, I just wanna say something. Y'all notice he said, Damn, we gotta see CJ and Tank. Y'all pay attention to his socks. I saw him. I peeped. He said, I got it. He, he I this, just wanted to remind y'all who y'all gonna play in the Super Bowl this year if you go. He did this person. I'm seeing videos on you on social media. You yelling, throwing stuff at the screen and all. Yeah, I, sometimes I, I lose. He my, put them know. socks on. Like, <laughs> I'm a real fan. You gotta say, <laughs> when we won the Super Bowl, I cried. Right. Real tears no, on I'm gonna social ask you a media. He gonna ask I you a question. I'm gonna ask you a question. Yeah. So I've never really been, I've only been a fan of the Lakers like mm-hmm. that. Um, and I, I I I didn't cry when we won the championship. I cried when Kobe died, and oh, that was that was a touchy subject. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But like, what makes it like? I just, and I'm not asking it to be funny. I'm being serious. Like, is that like bring that bring hope to the city of Philly? Does it bring like um, a, a sense of peace? You know what I'm saying? I'm asking. You gotta understand. I've missed two games, Eagle games, or maybe like three. Maybe I think one was a block out game in two of the games I was in Dominican Republic when the Eagles lose the feeling is almost like a second cousin died not a first cousin like a second cousin Mm -hmm. that's how serious (laughs) it is yeah he's crazy like a second cousin died you got a week to get over it like you got a week to be like damn man my cousin died he wasn't my, my mom's sister, but he was my second. That's how serious it is, bro. Like, you got to understand, f- fandom and football and the fan and basketball is two different things. Yeah. Football, we got 17 weeks, bro. We got once a week. You you a static if you play on Sunday, Sunday and then again on Thursday. You like nigga, I only gotta wait three days. <laughs> Is you ready for some football? So I no, know we going this, through it, body. Our body hurt like a. <laughs> <laughs> but that's how serious it is. Basketball, they play on Tuesday. They might have a back to back. You if they win tomorrow, you forgot they lost yesterday. Right. No, you gotta go in to work. The average person. Right. Hit a Talking all week, damn, oh. how y'all lose to Dak? Dak's been y'all dirty. Cowboys, all that dumb <laughs> shit, <laughs> man. You, you got to understand, man, it's rough. Right, right. So when you a real fan and you live and you die, you, you wake up for Sunday mornings, man. That's how real it is. You know, you I, just, you just yeah. playing a kid's game that right. you love. As fans, see this episode of Me and I's Worth a Game is brought to you by Professional Fighters League. The second half of the PFL season kicks off with heavyweights and women flyweights fighting at the Mohegan Sun. The toughest test in MMA keeps getting tougher. Each fighter has one more chance to earn points with a quick finish and make the playoffs. The main card is live on Thursday, June 13th, 9 p.m. Eastern Time on ESPN and ESPN Plus. Don't miss the action live. Get your tickets now at Ticketmaster. June 13th, it's going down on ESPN and ESPN Plus. And tickets are available now at Ticketmaster. So just make sure you get ready for June 13th. PFL, the second half of the season. You know, they got the they got the big time fights coming, man. So if you know, if you like MMA, and you want all the action and you want the best action, then I suggest you tune in on June 13th at 9 p.m. on ESPN and ESPN Plus. And also, as a reminder, you can also pull up 
Get your tickets on Ticketmaster. Professional Fighters League, June 13th. Right. I asked that, though, because, like, I feel like when we first got here, like, Tank been here since college, so, like, he went to UH. Yeah. I know they fan base is pretty big, you know, but, like, like I asked that, though, because, like, when I first got here to the Texans, man, I ain't never seen something. Like, I ain't gonna lie, man, it was, like, it was nobody, bro. And I understand why, like, to all the Texas fans, I understand why it was bad. Like, I, I never really knew how bad it was until I got here. And, like, it was just bad, like, you know what I'm saying, really bad, like, um, just like a feeling that we had. We played the Colts week two at you home. Was like, nobody in the state. Man, we, we warming up. I look at the town, I said, Tank, bro, ain't nobody here, dog. Like, we played Cleveland, though. <laughs> so it's like, I feel like, man, like, we bringing that swag back. So, like, man, yeah. I just want, like, I want to see, you know, like, you know what I'm saying, we, we coming like even though it ain't gonna be perfect. Now that's one thing that I just and then we still gonna come. Y'all got Steph, and that's the thing we got Steph. And then y'all got a battle. You always got the 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 the, right. the, the in state battle. Right. The Cowboys, the ones that's been around forever. And ever. And they got fans out here. Right. Of course they got fans of my Philly. My uncle, my uncle, bro, he love y'all. That's why and everybody hate the Cowboys. He like he like he a diehard Cowboys fan. I'm like, uh. Like who who signed you? Now he a Texas fan now, yeah, but like I'm yeah. like at uh, first I'm like he was it was like he was it was hard for him. Yeah. <laughs> like, <yeah. laughs> like, how, That's how serious for you. this shit. Yeah, all right. That's you playing for the Texans. He like I don't know nothing. Yeah. Gilly, Gilly be like this. I team. don't know. <laughs> Watching the game. Like the whole thing with me, like the whole fan stuff. What, what I find is just crazy. People crying over teams and all that. I ne fortunately, I never had to do that. Right. My team always won the Super Bowl. Shout out to the Chiefs. Did y'all think, right baby? Here, Damn, He's getting right baby. Here, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> Who your real team, like, bro? Whoever wins. So it's like, <laughs> I'm just going to be, now, y'all got a shot. Y'all got a shot. Nah, nah, year. you stay over there, dog. Yeah, yeah, got 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 yeah, he, he, he like the more, he like, he like, you know, my jersey dude, you know what I do where y'all from? Where he, the thing he bet on, it always lose. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah no, no, no. My team ain't lose. Who you bet on at the beginning? I seen you in Ravens gear. No, no, yeah. now, now yeah. let me say this. <laughs> yeah. Let me say this. I see the Ravens. Got it. Now, Baltimore. East Baltimore. Shout out to East Baltimore. That's part of my, what's the name? I was with the Eagles. Me and Gil was at the parade together when they won. When they won. When they, they won. They got, you got to win for me to be a fan. I, all that crying <laughs> stuff he's doing, that's why I just So, you a fan in the off season? No, I'm a fan uh, when the ring when, time. When the playoffs. When the playoffs. Play play you know, I already know, like at the last, so you don't pick your team to the playoffs? No, I don't pick my, for real, for real, my, uh, can I be straight up? <laughs> I really don't pick my team to like it's four minutes left at the Super Bowl. <laughs> I'm just being straight up. It'd be close. I got all my, I got my stuff 19, ready. 19, 19. But I'm, but I'm rooting for both teams. As the Super Bowl coming out, I'm like, yeah, we got it. I'm going to get my mind yeah, yeah. together. I root for both teams. Got my whole, my gear ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to party <laughs> in the streets, the whatever loser. city I'm at. He's and it loser. is what it is. So you wear two jerseys? Or no, he already half, have them ready. The back, he burnt, the listen, he burnt, listen, he burnt my Chief jersey because I, I had a Chief and out. Eagles jersey in Arizona. Yeah. So you were I, sick, huh? We he had, burnt my, they playing in the Super Bowl. No, he burnt it before I could, I could have it. I had my so stuff laying on the bed the so I could take both jerseys with me to the game. He had his Eagles jersey on. I burnt it. He burnt bitch. my jersey. I had a Gonzalez joint. I seen that. I was at the house. Yeah, yeah. I ain't playing no games. Let me ask you this question. You and Bryce, because the first time I'm, I, well, the first time we actually kicked it, right. we won't play basketball. Me, you, Did he got Bryce game? Young. He got game. Yeah, he could play, and he could, he okay. got a little. So bit he might opposite. go to the league. He probably could have went to the league. Yeah, he might have could have. I mean, I don't uh, know. You think he could have? Yeah. I don't know. That we had a conversation after this. <laughs> okay, say no more. So, so oh, yeah, we can have it after. So, right. being that you and you and you and Bryce, y'all good, y'all. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Y'all come up, y'all going against each other in the Heisman Trophy race and being as though, okay, y'all, he get drafted one, you get drafted two. That's my man. Damn, I knew y'all on the phone. Oh, like, we did it one and two. We killed him. Blah, 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 blah. Seeing his struggles during the year and you blossoming, you know, how you was looking. Like, like, like um, you know, it was tough. You know, it was hard to see my friend, like, Cause I ain't never seen him, like be down before, you know, yeah. and like sadly they, all he did was win. Yeah, you know what I'm <laughs> yeah, saying? Yeah, like he yeah. went to modern day, they won. Yeah, yeah. He went to Bama, they won. Yeah. Like he went, you know, you know what I'm saying? You yeah. would expect that, you know what I'm saying? And like um when we played them was their first win, sadly. Like we I don't know how we lost to them. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, I'll tell him yeah. that like anything I say to y'all, yeah, I would yeah, tell yeah. them. Absolutely, your face. homies, man. That's my homie, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's like, like, bro, like to keep it real with you, bro, like. 
my life, like, I feel like, man, I went through a ton of adversity, like, you know, to get me ready for these moments right here. Like, so, like, when stuff happens, I don't really get flustered. I don't really get shaken. I don't get sad. I don't get mad no more. I just know, like, that comes with the territory. Right. And, like, for him, and I've told him this, is like, man, I feel like, man, you're going through what you're going through right now because God is preparing you for greatness, bro. Right. You know, so, like, when that right. time do come, that y'all team is ready around you, because he, like, Last year, man, no disrespect, but he was doing it by himself, right. bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right, it's right, like, right. you can't block and and run around and yeah. catch the ball yeah. and play defense yeah. and stop the run. You can't do it all. Right. You're the quarterback now. You're the leader. Right. You got to be the forefront of that, and I feel like he do that. But you know what I'm saying? It's hard to step up in, in there every week, and, like, it's just bad mojo. And I can see it in his face. Like, he was just tired when we played him. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I was like, man, like, we was talking after the game. Like, man, like, God preparing you, bro. Like, Kind of like, like what I was going through. And I never, like, I ain't won no championship at, at Rancho when I was playing in high school. We ain't never won. I was always the, one of the worst. He he, he ain't tell y'all, they killed us in youth ball. Yeah. He played for the IE Ducks. I played for the uh, Snoop Dogg Steelers, the yeah. Pomona Valley Steelers. Yeah. And they killed us. Yeah. That hurt. Because he was no one quarterback in the country. I, I was in ranks. Yeah. No one was looking at me. Yeah. Oh, Bryce this, Bryce. You know, like, so, like, DJ this, you know, all the, like, and, um, it was a couple when other did cats. You, when did they start recognizing? It wasn't until Elite 11. Yeah, Elite 11 when I was a junior, going to senior high school. Um, and even after that, like, everybody like, man, oh, he going to Ohio State, he going to struggle. Like, hmm. and you know, well, like. Ohio State got a history. To that's having cool. great college that's, but, quarterbacks right. and not great football Well, that's the thing. They, di they died on me when I even, before I even got there. Yeah. It was like, oh, this small town, like, not small town, but this kid can't come from California and play Ohio. Playing Ohio State football, like he's big. This big enough. football. It's big time. Like it's too many people watching. The bright, lights too bright, you know. And like one thing that I've always learned, I've said this a million times. Like man, I ain't proving nobody wrong. I'm proving myself right. Right. You know, because you try to prove somebody wrong, it's gonna be a million billion people out there trying to doubt you. Right. And I'm cool. Like do what you gotta right. do, bro. Like if that help you sleep at night, that's cool. But like don't just because you didn't make it, don't put your doubts on me, bro. But you, you know, know what, what you you know what you told me without telling me that. You said, when, even when you was going to Ohio State, they was doubting you. Mm. So that tell me that when you arrived at Ohio State, it might have, because Ohio State got all top tier quarterbacks. Mm -hmm. Let's just be for real. They they going to get the best of the best. Right. That's just how they do it. Right. But it showed me that when you got there, no matter where you was from, no matter what they thought, no matter how they felt about you, they let you operate on the even playing field mm -hmm. because you won the job. So even if they was like, ah, he might can't do it. When right. you got there, they, they they made it an even playing field because right. at the end of the day, they said, uh, here go the keys to the car. You can do it. Right. So that's that's a commitment to the coach because a lot of times, they don't. It ain't an even playing field. Is uh, we got Johnny Kentucky from uh, Ohio, Iowa. He just threw for eight thousand yards in high school. Right. He gotta be the starting. Well, I quarterback. came in with another dude. Yeah. So it was like that was kind of awkward in his own. Like, yeah. My boy Jack Miller, uh, he at Florida right now. Yeah. Um, I don't, I don't know if he plays football or not still, but you know, I was my boy, and like we were competing. Right. And like I don't know, man. It's like something like <coughs> I said, man. Like I just know I'm like it's meant to be. Like I right. meant, I was meant to be a football player for some odd reason, because. Like, even sometimes I'll call my mom, like, I'm trying to come home. I'm tired of this Ohio. It's cold. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to go back with the homies, you know, just kick it. You know, I could go to USC right here. Like, right. that's easy. Right. But, like, you know, I feel like kind of like what we were talking about earlier with Bryce, like, God wanted me to stay and to go through the fire. Mm -hmm. You got to be in the fire, man, to, like, to mold yourself and yeah. to be ready. Be Your, your, your skin got to be thick. So, right. you know, um, like, same thing I had talked to bro about was, like, Man, that's why you going through what you're going through, in right. my opinion. You right. know, it's not for no reason. Right. Now, dude, he needs help around him for sure. Right. You know, I, like, and, and that's one thing, like, I want to say is, like, man, I ain't do last year by myself. Yeah. That's un that's impossible in football. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had this dog. I right. had Nico. He a dog. Right. He just got paid today. Right. Shout out to Nick. Shout, Shout out to Nico, you know? man. Yeah. Ball something, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we just got Diz. Dalton last year helped me out a ton. LT, Shaq Mason, George Fant. I, the list goes on. Jimmy Ward, Jalen Petrie, like. Steve but Nelson, it's a, certain, it's a ton of guys. But you're right. But it's a certain type of charisma, a certain type of calmness, a certain type of swag that you got when you playing that it, this shit look like you a 10 year veteran, bro. Mm -hmm. This is like, it's, it's nothing ain't rushed. It's just, it's just like, everything is just like, so, <laughs> you know, you had to come in. A lot of them dogs was already proven. Yeah. 
You was the one that had to come in. You was the one that they said, we ain't shit. We need a quarterback. They said you the quarterback. Prove it. Now, by week 10, oh, they like, cool. he the quarterback. Right, right. We got one. <laughs> Thank you, guys. You start seeing it. You start seeing the arena get a little... Said, oh yeah, that's what how long did it take? Like, how long did it take for the readers to start? I go figure. It took like, it took, like to the playoffs, to, dang near to the like to see it pat and rocking the playoffs. Damn, because, but we it's was changed. nice, like bro. I ain't fake, yeah. like bro. We was Even nice. Oh, because right. because this is, no, I'm just saying, you know, I ain't gonna put break because the like Eagles Stadium sold out before is the tickets. That's what I'm saying. But how is it now? Like, is we got to sell out. Hopefully, everybody win. I think everybody win. Everybody ready to roll. So like that's the thing is like, but it's evolution. You gotta you gotta show it. Yep, you can't right. just like, oh, just show up and right. we trash. Like, right. shit, when I was a fan, like, no disrespect, like, the Rockets was trash. I ain't going to go see the Rockets if they right. trash. They, that's not the case. They right. still yeah. good. Right. You yeah. know, they. I think the Rockets going to be hard next year. But, right. like, man, it's like, if they was a good, I would not be paying my hard, my hard earned money on some tickets when I can just go put watch that towards me. Right. Well, now, I can watch it on TV. And that's why I pride myself. Like, man, I come in every day and I work my tail off, man, for that one kid or, like, that one parent. Or whoever it is, to like that, put their hard earned money to come watch me play. Yeah. You know, I be having like kids around signs, man, and like, and that's a, it's like a drink. It's not even a drink or true. It's a, cold, it's like a shock to me, man, that like kids come and want to see CJ Stroud play. Like, you say, yeah. I say that name out loud because it don't mean nothing. Like, man, yeah. I'm still a little kid from Naive with a dream and a goal. Yeah. No, like, CJ Stroud mean a lot now, baby. That's what I'm saying. So that it's like, it's crazy, dog. Now. It's like, it's wild, because I like my boys even tell me, like, I'll go. I'm like, man, I ain't worried about like, man, Let me, I'm walking down the street by myself, ain't tripping. He like, no, nah, you need security. I'm like, yeah, I don't need no damn security. Yeah. I'm no more dude. They're like, nah, you tripping. No, you're not. I'm like, all right. Let me ask both of y'all this question. During last year, who would DB talk the most trash to you? <laughs> he probably on the team nine. Um, uh, CJ. Who? Henderson? Gardner? No. Oh, Henderson. yeah, Henderson from uh from um, Panthers. Yeah, from Panthers. Yeah, bro was talking. Really? He on Houston yeah, now. He was out there talking. He was yeah. talking at all. He's yeah, on he, Houston. Yeah, now? He played for. He played with us now. Yeah, he was yeah, talking yeah, crazy. I say him or you. I say um Carlton Davis. Oh yeah, man. Carlton was talking a lot. Man, Carlton was going at it too. What Carlton from where? He played for Buccaneers. Oh, he, he was, was on your top. Yeah, he was talking crazy to you. Huh? Uh, yeah, I for me, top. bro. It wasn't a DB. Who said the crazy though? Who said the crazy shit? I'll be on that. Um, I'll be cool though. I only talk when I'm talked to. But I don't like talking that. Come on, dog. He like, come on. He like, come <laughs> on. Stop the dumb shit. He <laughs> like, stop the dumb shit. So we plan. No, it's and he be talking about me all the time, and I know he gonna see this. I ain't tripping. Yeah, bro. Zaire, <laughs> who? who? Zaire Franklin Coach. from the coast. I'm a 44. Yeah, yeah I know. He, and he, and he from Philly. Yeah. He from so that's probably where it come from. Yeah. He, and bro got game, but like, man, like. It's smoke. I ain't tripping, like, bro. Like, bro, you talking about me? I'm, <laughs> I'm coming for you. I'm coming too, though. It's yeah. like, bro, like, come on, bro. Like, I'm, I'm like that too, dog. Like, I respect you, cause like you making the league. And he just got paid. Shout out to bro. I'm happy for you, bro. I want to see any black man get paid in this league. Anybody in general, like, yeah. like you, you deserve that money, bro. Like, he a good player. Yeah. But it's like, man, he you know we like, and that's what I like. It's like two dogs, like, ready to rumble. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, so, so he be like, talking crazy. Oh yeah. But like, so like with him though. He said something the other day, it was like on a podcast. I saw it. I, he said that in person, I said something to him, like talking mess. I'm like, I don't remember that to be real. Like we was at the Super Bowl, I seen him and somebody asked us to take a picture together. So we took a picture together. And you know, I was like, hey man, like, I think I was just like talking like, you know what I'm saying? Like just on some cool shit. Like we off the field, I'm not really tripping off you, bro. And then he go on a podcast the other day talking about. So he was capping on the podcast. I don't think he was capping. I might have said something, so but it rubbed in the wrong way. Yeah. But you know, y'all feeling he's a little sensitive, man. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's crying over the game. <laughs> but you know, but like, bro, bro, shit, when we play, it is what it is. But like, the thing that I don't agree with all these podcasts these players have, and Zaire not so much. Zaire actually played really good when we played him. But like, my boy EJ Speed. But it's a ton of dudes. It's not just EJ. He with my agent, and I tell him this to his face. I don't even tripping. But like a lot of dudes come on these podcasts, like, oh yeah, I'm coming to hit, I'm gonna hit CJ in his face, I'm gonna get him next year. Uh, why don't you do something? Like where I'm from, we say, why don't you ain't do something where you was mad at? You was mad right there, my right. do something. Right. <laughs> you could have made hella plays, bro. Right. You could have made plays, dog. Right. You could have shut me up right there, but you didn't. Right. So what make you think you're gonna do it now? And right. if you do, I'm gonna come back, bro, for real. 
this ain't for no play, bro. I'm on, like, yeah. come on, God, man. I got him in that mode. Yeah, 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 mode. <laughs> this is the mode I've been waiting to get. <laughs> like, he like, I'm going to slam CJ on his head. Ah, like, man. You should have did that then, bro. Right. Now we're going to have another opportunity. And, and we played him first game of the year. Ooh. I'm excited. The coach. Yeah. We play him at their place. It's going to be rocking. That, that, Indy hates me already. And I love it. So, but so, nah, it's So who do y'all feel them, like bro. is your biggest rival? Them. Them. Jaguar. Anybody in our in our division, like Jaguar. our division, I feel like we, me and Michael was just talking about this because he said the NFC, what are they East, what are they? We the NFC East. Yeah, y'all not the best division. Yes, we it's is. It's AFC North. No, it's the us, the Cowboys, the Redskins, and the Giants. North. What? Us, the Cowboys, the Redskins, and the Giants. The, the red. The Commanders. The Commanders. <laughs> yeah, you red. know. Like, the the commanders, commanders ain't messing with the Bengals, the Ravens. The uh, Browns, nor the Steelers, nor is the Giants. What about the Eagles? Okay, they they can they, they can compete. Yeah, they, they can, can compete for sure. Yeah, sauce but, this matching though. No, that's how they back. come. Nah, that's how they came. We ain't doing that. That's how we go mad. I long as y'all can see them puppies. I ain't gonna fake, bro. Y'all not even better than us this year. <laughs> you heard what he said? What, say that again. Not you heard what he said? South this year. Who, 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 we got some dogs. The Eagles gonna be the number one team in the league this year. I ain't talking about the Eagles. I'm talking about as a whole. The we don't care. We don't see one thing about us. We don't care about no Cowboys. Right. No commanders. Why you saying no like commanders. No giants. <laughs> <laughs> we, don't give, we don't care about none of them. Okay, but that's what my conversation was. But like, yeah, our yeah. rivals though. As a division though, no, we rivals, not. Our rivals. We not on that them. Jaguars, bro. Yeah, Jaguars too. Jaguars. They too. didn't pay Trevor Lawrence, did they? I don't think so. But he um, about to get paid. He should get paid. He don't get but paid. Another dude though, I feel like I'll be bumping with is Roquan. Roquan. Yeah, Smith. Baltimore. He be mic'd up too. every game we play him. I don't like it. It's like him talking mess to me, but he be talking crazy, bro. But what's the craziest thing ever said to you? Hmm. I can tell you what my teammates said about somebody else. I don't really gonna be. <laughs> so we playing the Panthers, bro. And this is hilarious. So I, uh, uh, Titus. <laughs> oh yeah. All right, crazy. He he crazy. He funny. Yeah. So we playing the, the Panthers, bro. And it's fourth and one on the goal line. We call it a QB sneak. I sneak it in. And mind you, I'm already hot because the Panthers ain't drafting me. So I'm like, all right, like, I'll have to show these cats. Yeah. And like, for some reason, we just ain't really, like, we ain't mesh well that day. Like, yeah. we, I only threw for like 140 yards, like, lowest in my career. It was crazy. So, and they was a nothing. But, so I sneak <laughs> it in. <laughs> I score. I, I throw the ball. Bitch, I'm, I'm talking yeah. to the crowd, going crazy. And then Bruh came and he was like, CJ, you ain't even like that. It's one of the, I don't even know, bro, name. You ain't even like safety. that. You ain't even like that. Yeah, he was a safety. Number 40 something. Yeah, it's 42. And he was talking Titus crazy. Was, yeah, Titus, <laughs> Titus was like, what up? Why your side tooth missing? And bro, <laughs> and bro hold like his, <laughs> his grill was gone. I was no, like, die. oh. No, die. <laughs> Did he come back after that? No, he shut he up. He ain't said no the rest of the game. <laughs> bro, you don't want smoke. Bro, you don't want smoke. Bro, I swear, but this is true. Bro, I yeah. was dying, dog. I didn't that have to say that. That was a good one, though. That was one of them drinks. It was like a roast more than like something yeah. crazy. Yeah. I don't know. I don't Bro was know. talking crazy that but game. But nobody's really disrespectful. Like, you made it to the league. Like, I don't think nobody really be disrespectful. You know, it's more so just like, you suck. You ain't doing nothing. I'm on right. you today. Like, something yeah. like that. Yeah. It ain't really like. All the real trash talk coming high school. Yeah. yeah. In high college. School. College. High school. Oh, college. College and high school. Kill you. Yeah. High school. Boy, Tove Hill gonna spit on me in the middle of the game. Oh, you gonna, yep. Said, man, look, bro. Your whole game gonna be paused. I swear to God. <laughs> we played, we played Deshaun Jackson in high school, in high school, bro. We had a full brawl. Oh, you, he went to, cleared. um. I went, you mean? He, no. He went he to went, Long Beach Poly. Yeah, Long Beach Poly. We yeah. played them in the playoffs. We beat them. We, we upset them. Yeah. And our bench is clear. Well, I went to school in the suburbs. We our bitches ain't clear. It was like seven of us out there squabbling. <laughs> the they hold all they the came. homies probably hey. clear it out. It's like hey. seven of the homies. We squabbling with them. Like, hey, he said, no, 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 hey, no, no, no. I love his no, rawness. He said, Niggas ain't win. Our bench clear. You know what? Our bench ain't clear. Man, man. It was about we, eight of us, seven dude, of us. We, we was fighting man. the whole long. <laughs> we had dudes like saying, no, don't fight. Like, what, like, man, come on, bro. What we going to do? Yeah. We <laughs> just coming at us. <laughs> come on, dog. That was wild, man. Long Beach probably got a, a, a good history, too. Yeah. For uh, football, man. For I seen a whole special on them. I was like, I was like crazy impressed. Like, man, I ain't know they was a producing like that. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Sending people to college all over, like. I was like, okay, 
That's like a top I got a question school. for you. What's that? So the best football state, Florida out of Florida, Cali and Texas. Florida. Come on, man. I ain't got no rap. Florida. Texas. Oh, 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 oh. Man, get oh, oh. oh. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold on. Now. Gotta, don't go, don't go changing your words. No, I got I got to I got to take it back. So, in Pennsylvania, you got Joe Montana, Bro, you got Ricky talking, Waters, already you got me. About now. You got me. You uh, me. Oh my god. Once again, like I told Dion, you got Taylor Swift. She from there. She went I said su- football. football she went yeah, she went Super Bowls. Taylor Swift. Uh, she, went she, went Bowl. Bowl. <laughs> she went to the Super Bowl. She went to the Super Bowl. She went to the Super Bowl. PA, we might be up there. No, man, Florida. I got respect for PA, but I say Florida and uh. uh yes, sir. What you I don't mean? know. Just because y'all sit on the couch. No, can I say no, something? No, no, can I say something? No. I don't know a lot of people that came out of Cali. How? Like it, it may be a lot, but I don't know who. Who's it the best is. player ever played? Who? Tom Brady. He from Cali. Yes, sir. He's from the Bay. We not talk about. But, but let me say this. Oh, see, look, he wants to. This kind of like the conversation that we get, had, though. Yeah, like thick. y'all sitting on the couch with us, but it's kind of like how you was dissing. Y'all don't like LA anyway, because when Kendrick beat Drake, and I don't got. Oh, no, oh, I, oh, had oh, oh wait, wait, I had nothing. You said. I ain't had nothing. You said wait, that last diss wasn't better. And you. No, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna check you right now. Uh, okay, check you me. You tripping? Check me. Check me. You tripping? Play us up too. We know you want the interview. Listen. No, 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 no. See. See, this is a mis- <laughs> this is a misconception that, bro, whether we interview somebody or not, our check's still the same. We could just right, it, right, it could just right. be me and NFL money. Our right. is is NBA is guaranteed. It's coming through. Right. It's not we gotta be no, no we gotta be no 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 type of tears. And, so, bro, let's talk facts. I got the Drake. first two diss records from Kendrick. Was just uh, I ain't listening to the end. Hey, and, <laughs> and I want to see the finish line. And they say, and they say he was stealing on um, people tweets and putting them in his song. I don't so know nothing really about that. Kendrick. I just know when I put it on and I listen to it and I hear Kendrick Lamar dissing Drake off of "I'm so in love with you, I don't know what to do. It's all right with me." Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. So I'm that like, last bro, one he had like you me? can't diss no. Like- that was a big song. Then I'm saying he turned the whole city. Then I'm saying that's a big song. Right. He did it for he did it for LA though. Bro. This is what I'm saying. Right. No, everybody. Well, he, he, came, got, he got me. Jimmy. Well, he came with that West, West Coast shit. Right. right. See? They not like us. <laughs> get it, get it, get it. <laughs> you know, come on, dog. You know like that, that shit hit different. But after it came out, you said Brad won. No. And I walked with Drake. Drake Drake probably the one of the greatest artists ever. No matter what, you can't take away what Drake done did for nothing. Same thing with Kendrick. Like they both talented. I I mess with both of them. I ain't like I hate dudes who be like, oh, I'm picking. Bro, no, that ain't putting no money in your pocket. I'm messing with both of them too. But it's like you gotta keep it real. Like it's like playing football. It's like right. if we lost, we lost, bro. Right. Kendrick won, dog. Oh, just off that last one. Just off the last one. Just off the last one. I think that take over. He everything. going off of one I song. I think he bro. can't. Because that had me like thing. Because that was the one. one. No, but one that thing. It was. That shit had me ready to crib walk. You feel me? I was ready. The thing that I liked about it. The thing that I liked about it. That was most important. That I liked about it is that the younger generation got to witness hip hop. Hip hop is when. I don't like what you got going on. You don't like what I'm going on. It ain't hating. We going at each other. Ain't nobody going to die about this stuff. We ain't nobody going to beat up. It's like, it's just like, that's what hip, y'all never witnessed that. We've been witnessing that our whole life. Our whole life. Hip-hop. Um, you know what I mean? But for y'all to witness that, right. it was so great because y'all was so excited about it. Yeah, to see so. the young people like, yo, all right, this is an example. Nobody going to get shot. Nobody got to get die about right. this. This is what hip hop is about. Right. And, 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 that and was this anything. is like, it's just like basketball, bro. I'm better than you. No, you're not better than me. Right. All right, let's Check get on the court. I'm going to cook you. That's all that was. See, with the youth, that then got so crazy because this is talking about, I'm going to shoot you and they really going to well, shoot you. Well, I'm going to tell you what the real <laughs> is really about it. And you. I feel like from like, because I'm in the journey. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm Gen Z. Like, yeah. I get it. I feel like the reason that is, is because like, one is social media. That's that's point blank yeah, what it is. Media. Social media. And so like you have a whole bunch of fake tough guys on social media. Oh, oh my god. A whole bunch. We're like, even like cats in the NFL be playing tough. I'm like, bro, like we we are blessed to yeah, be we blessed. We come rich. on, dog. And like, so I'll go deeper than that. So when you got a whole bunch of fake, fake tough people gassing real tough people who really have lived in those situations, live right. in that environment, they start reading these comments and they start fighting. Inner, inner, inner yeah. thoughts. Absolutely. And then they start just wilding out. 
Right. Just because, you know, like everybody online is putting pressure on them to go Absolutely. do something about something that happened or like some diss or like whatever Absolutely. the case may be. So like people in our generation, you know, like they look at social media as like, like um, kind of like who they need to be as a person or like as a rapper or as right. an athlete or as like, man, if you look on Twitter, everybody ought to be a quarterback. Everybody ought to be a rapper. Everybody ought to do podcasts. Everybody, everybody ought to train be... quarterbacks. You, you can see, you can get it all. Shit, dude. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, listen. You got people out here that's they watching YouTube tutorials, man. Right. <laughs> but you got to you got to separate the and fact they, think of, they can tell you what to do, man. You got to right. separate the fact of social media and reality. Like All the I time. feel like I was one of the last eras where like my mama I didn't get a phone until I was like in the 8th grade, ninth grade, like I was not allowed to have a phone, no right. social media, no, like I was outside playing with playing with my friends, right. you know, enjoying life, you know what I'm saying? Like sitting on the green box. Right. You know what I'm saying? Kids don't yeah. play no more. Now. No, they don't go outside. When I no. go to parks <laughs> It'd be me and my friends playing basketball. And it you be can't no kids blame them, though. Right? There's a lot of crazy stuff. There is a lot of crazy stuff. No, 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 no. The crazy stuff ain't got nothing to do with why they don't go to the parks. <laughs> they don't go to the parks because back in, see, back when we was growing up, we didn't have phones. So our, form, our form of entertainment was going outside yeah, right. and actually playing, playing right. doing something productive. Now, since a kid drop out the and is able to hold an iPad, the mother's like mm -hmm. this, honey. There you go. Watch that. Right. Hey, watch that. Uh, he just he said that. By the time, <laughs> by the time the mother five, he just programmed like this. <laughs> he got the, he said the on his chest and then lay there. Now he watching like this. Like so, you are not teaching the kids to be productive, right? Because you like the easy thing is to just watch your iPad. They working better than us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because he don't watch that same. <laughs> YouTube video with chick monks 11,000 times. I'm gonna say this. Yeah, we're, gonna circle, we're gonna circle back to something. And Prime said this. So, ain't nobody messing with Florida. And I just looked it up for you. Thank you. Oh, that's cool. You got Emmitt Smith, Ray Lewis, Deion Sanders, Lamar Jackson, uh, Fred Taylor, Michael Irvin, Antonio Brown. Warren Dante Shack. Culper. He trying to look for him up. Quan Bolden. Yeah, like you, Fred you. Teller. Chad Johnson. Like, do I got to keep going? Antonio Camardi. Tim Tebow. Do I got to keep going? Don't say no Tim Tebow. Though. Frank Gore. <laughs> Tim Tebow. <laughs> wow. yeah, stop, 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 stop saying bro, bro, shit, We respect Tim. But Tim, Tim, Tim. Yeah. Listen, Frank Gore. Like, come on, man. Is you, is you really going to play you with missing out on a lot of people. I know I'm missing a lot. There's a bunch of you. CJ Henderson. He don't know him. He only saying him off. Yeah, he's just looking at names. I'm looking at names from the Delvin floor. Cook. He be Khalil Mack. You pass it all. Real live. Come Go on. Ahead. I'm ready. Come on. Uh -huh. Just put the top and the players from Tom California. Brady. No, watch this. From That's California. First thing he gonna say. Tom, you we got already Tom. know Tom from there. He just found that out. Y'all ready? What? Yeah. We ready? Tom Brady, Tony Gonzalez, Troy Palomalu, Aaron Rodgers, Marshawn Lynch, Junior Seau, Marcus Allen, Randall Cunningham, Damn. Anthony Munez, Bobby Wagner, Steve Smith. Richard Sherman, Troy Aikman, Larry Allen, Deshaun Jackson, Warren Moon, Clay Matthews, Eric hey man, Weddle. Don't let this. Maurice Jones. California Jr., bigger Tyron than Texas. Smith. Florida dogs, though. Yeah. We not dogs? Yeah. No, no. Y'all more calm. Y'all more laid back. Marshall Lynch ain't a dog. Tom Brady ain't a dog. Aaron Rodgers ain't a dog. Just mm. because we cool. Mm. Deion. Just because we know we Michael, got gold I'm teeth and we don't real. yell. Like, I'm keep it on me real. You, Aaron Rodgers is over hype. Whoa. Go and talk about it, Gil. Bro, what you raise up, bro? Trent Dilfer won a Super Bowl. Let's stop, stop over, what? let's stop overhyping hey, shit. Hey, Rod, that guy. Oh, what you mean? Uh, to, uh, break it down. <coughs> he don't want to. I need to hear this. Listen, Aaron, is Aaron Rodgers great? Yes. yes. Is Aaron Rodgers a hell of a quarterback? Yes. Is Aaron Rodgers on the level of a Troy Aikman? Yes. A, a, a Tom Brady? Yeah, bro, he is. Look bro, at the stats, dog. Look, I, he bro, can't bro, play he defense, read. too. I can't look at no stats. Read. Because let me just tell you something. This is something I was told. Mm hmm Anybody could stumble across one. It take a truly great one to do it twice. You gotta have a great team. It's oh, most team so, oriented sport in the world. So okay. yeah. so who right. so, 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 you so, ready to say? He stumbled across one. He never been back, not even close to a Super Bowl, bro. For to be the baddest man on the planet, to keep going to the playoffs. We talking about year. straight but, talent, but, bro. But, bro, we talk you about you're going to the playoffs every year. Yeah. Every year. Who's better than him? You not even I'm Patrick saying though, Mahomes. I'm saying though, that, that take a team. That's that take a team. He's been in the league for five years. Oh, 
Who look like five Super Bowls. <laughs> Who else better than you? Okay, let me ask you this. Is Come on. Charles Barkley not great? Charles no, Barkley he is he's great. A is Allen Iverson not great? He's he a is, is great. Steve Nash not great? He is a great. Yeah, come on, bro. We can't have Michael every Jordan story. great. Yeah, but like, you gotta have the rings. <laughs> okay, but I'm saying, are you saying Aaron Rodgers? You say Aaron Rodgers ain't 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 nothing. No, I didn't say nothing. Then what you say? say? I said Aaron Rodgers is a great quarterback. That's the first thing I nah, started. What you said before? Right. Said you said something player. before that. I said he's overhyped. No, so is he's Reggie Miller overhyped? Okay, is Allen Iverson overhyped? Is Charlie is like Reggie's? Huh? But listen, is Charles Barkley overhyped? That's my conversation. If he ain't got no win, he overhyped. They ain't got no rings. Okay, listen. Listen, none of them dudes don't get talked about in the light of Aaron Rodgers. That's Rogers. not true, dog. Yeah, no. Allen uh, Iverson, are you serious? Can I finish? No, he's a legend. Can I finish? <laughs> <laughs> what well, Allen Iverson That's my was, man, too. Well, Allen yeah, Iverson my man, was bro. in the league. Michael Jordan was also in the league, right? So Michael Jordan was that bad man that they put up on that pedestal. I when they saying. talk about yeah. Aaron Rodgers, they put Aaron Rodgers on his on, pedestal. They put and Tom he Brady on Brady. Tom Brady on the pedestal. Well, hold on. I even heard it. They going back and forth about Aaron Rodgers and Tom Brady. How is they even in talent, the same conversation? Talent wise. Will this man wipe his <laughs> with a whole ring full of. <laughs> will he go to the back and take a and right. wipe his with a whole that. ring full of hands? Uh, let me wipe my. <laughs> ah! Don't talk. This <laughs> got one on. Uh, come on, man. He got a piggy ring on. He got a fucking but you piggy know, ring on like know. a pig. Talent you wise, Aaron Rodgers is clear as Tom Brady. Huh? You know how hard it is to win a, a, a ring? I won the It's very years. hard. That's what <laughs> make Tom Brady so f great. You know what I'm saying? Tom, look, you. Tom is my man. That's Tom, what made Tom Joe Montana so on, hold on. great. Hold on. That's what made Steve Young so great. That's what made Troy Aikman so great that they could go back again and back again and back don't again. Pat, don't forget Pat. Don't forget my quarterback. And back again. Don't forget my look, quarterback. Look, 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 hold on. Get when you Pat. done doing this extra finish. When it's time to get it done, right? <laughs> when it was time to get it done, we talk about Ben Roethlisberger. When it was time to get it done with no time on the clock, he put the in the back of the end zone, perfect to Look, like <laughs> Look at the tootsies was like this. <laughs> That's greatness. When it's time to be great, you gotta be great. You can't keep getting there and he's great, he's great. But it was time to be great. He, he had the ball. He had the ball with two minutes left. He had a chance to go win the game. They didn't win that. We see Patrick Mahomes get the ball in no, 19 I seconds. I ain't never seen him do that. I'm saying it take. That's why I'm saying it take 11 people though. What if the receiver? What, people. what if the receiver dropped the ball, old lineman, and missed this block? You, you feel you me? You can't like? go with ifs. If my sister <laughs> had a she would have been my brother. <laughs> <laughs> we go with getting on, it done bro. or not getting it done. I feel you. That's all I'm saying. Let me ask you a question: Would LeBron James be LeBron James? If he had one ring, if LeBron James, okay, let me ask you this question: With LeBron James, LeBron James, without going to the Heat and and getting a super team, no. I respect LeBron what he did. It's you gotta have a game. great team. That's, you do. That's what, that's what I'm saying. Well, okay, let me you just can't ask you that. Yourself. Let me ask you this. Question. I guarantee you. Look, let me ask you this question: uh -huh. Was they considered a great team last year? Who? Yo, before the season started. Nah. Huh? We wasn't great last year. We wasn't great. We great, year. We we great now. We gotta go prove it. Like but you said. But what I'm saying was, y'all came and showed that. Oh no, we ain't who we, we was. We knew we was, but we well, ain't. Okay, you know. he had a chance to show every year they go to the playoffs. I ain't who I was last year. I'm about to get it done. I'm at least about to go to the Super Bowl. What we talking about, man? Man got one, man. But okay, so man, that's Trent like saying, okay, got look, one, man. So look, that's like you know saying Trent got, got more than y'all though. That's like no, saying Lamar you know Jackson Dilfer ain't great one, though. Right? No, I'm not. Listen, Lamar Gaz, he listen, he been there, but it's greatness. It just ain't Lamar over hype. It's greatness. Lamar right? over hype. Listen, no, he talking about what's greatness. Aaron's saying Lamar ain't gas. He talking about Aaron is over hype. Lamar Jackson hasn't been in the league as long as Aaron Rodgers either, so he still is building his book. He's still writing his legacy. He can win the next two championships back to back. You know what I think? So it you is? never know. You feel what I'm saying? He's building his legacy. Aaron Rodgers got a shitload of years in, man. But he you know only what I think it is, ring, look, Gil, I think what it is is that I've talked to Tom about this because Tom Brady's like he's a good mentor to me, and I mean I appreciate him, man. He's helped me a ton. Um, so Tom, keep it all the way raw with you. Yeah, okay. and what he so, tell me is is this right here. I'm about to tell you, is just his teammates and how he treats his teammates. So I think that's where it falls off is 
We don't know how Aaron Rodgers treats his teammates, but you dare you can guarantee that Tom Brady treats his teammates right because how he got them rings. Because he'll tell you he didn't do it on his own. You know what I'm saying? Nobody so like, can do it on their own. 100%, but it's about how you treat your teammates. And I, I don't know how that works where he came from. You know what I'm saying? But, so I get what you're saying for sure. At though. the end of the day. But as a great player, you cannot take Aaron Rodgers' greatness away. He is a talented, he is a dog, I said bro. he was great. I just said he was overhyped. He is not on the Mount Rushmore. He is not up there with them elite people. Bro, it's levels to this. It's eliteness, and then it's the next level. But yes, they still great. They still Hall of Famers. But no, you better not so dare right mention that fucker with no Joe Montana. Don't you do that. You better not mention that man with no Tom Brady. Don't you do that shit. Let me ask you a question. If you had to pick a person's career, right? You That's say easy. You That's a layup, dog. No, I'm gonna ask you a question. I ain't talking about Tom Brady. If you had to pick a career to have. I'm going to have Aaron Rodgers' career or I'm going to have Eli Manning's career. Who career are you taking? That's, you want the rings, dog. You don't want the... That's all that matters, yeah, yeah. the rings. Get, Eli get, got two. Get, guess, what, guess what fans don't celebrate? MVP trophies. We don't give a fuck about that. That's for you, buddy. This shit is your crib. Yeah, I feel that. We give a fuck <laughs> about rings. Damn. You play the fuck out of this shit. No, no, that's that's God, that, 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 listen. When you think about it, when y'all playing that game and they all the way up there in them boots, that's all they worrying about, like this. Right. The, exactly. They worrying about the rain. You, you respect that. You, you worry about rain. one thing. But we humans when too. The, when the year start, you worrying about one thing. Super CJ, you just won the Super Bowl. Where you wanna go? We're going to Disneyland, right. man. Me and Tate. No, I'm saying I'm going to the IE. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you go home. I'm going to the crib. You go home. Yeah. But you know, you know they get a lot of money off about that saying you going to Disneyland. <laughs> nah, None man. of them really don't go to Disneyland. They just throw that down yeah. there for that check. Really? Where you going? To the bank. Send that check over right, for right, Disneyland. Right. That's what yeah. I'm going. So, at the end of the day, that's just my take on it. Is he a, is he a great player? He's a great so, player. All right, so answer this, though. He's not what, one of the greatest right, look, quarterbacks what QB's up? What, QB, not what tier of QBs is he with? Huh? What tier of QBs is he with? Like Second tier. Who is them? Who is them guys? Uh, okay, you got, you got guys like Joe Montana. You got guys like Tom Brady, you got guys like um, Ben, who? Brees. Drew Brees. Yeah, he, 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 he on that level with them. With, with Tom Brady? Brady? With yeah, no, Brees? he on that level oh. with Drew Brees. Yeah. Right. You got right. you got you got Aaron Rodgers. You got Drew Brees. You got uh. Philip Rivers. Well, Philip Rivers. All them dudes that threw for no, 60, man. 50 thousand nice, yards. Bro. No, nah, brother. Stafford. Hey, Stafford. Stafford five. Another one, bro. He, fine. he might be up there with Brady and them, bro. No, come on. No, bro. that's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, that's that crazy. Was crazy. Let me let me go back. Hey, because no, because look, I'm a I'm a look, dog. Hold on, before you do all this, he is, I'm a student of the game. Stafford, a dog. He bro. is a dog. No, you don't understand, bro. You saying that? I that's all I watch. I don't watch nobody else. I watch Mahomes at times because Mahomes does some stuff that like you can't coach. Stafford, dog, he will beat you with the same thing every time. All that no lick stuff, I got that from bruh. Like, literally, that's one of my big, like, I'm, I'm a fan of his, like, if I he's go to a LA, great quarterback. I be trying to find, bro. But like, it's we got the same trainers. Greatness. I be trying to, like, that's go to where they I working out and just saying. watch. That's, that's all I'm saying. Elite, dog. Like, Charles Barkley. If you, hold on, hold on. If you give Matthew Stafford a chance, like Aaron Rodgers, I guarantee he might have had more rings, for sure. I think Matthew Stafford. Oh, oh Matthew did. Stafford had more yeah, rings than Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he have another ring problem. No, I'd say he had, like, three, four. He might. It's possible. bro. He good. But well, what I'm saying is, is levels nails, of greatness. Bro. You got this level of greatness where it's Barkley, it's Dominique Wilkins, it's all these dudes that no, was great. Then you got the greats. You got Jordan. You got Hakeem, uh, 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 Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. You got Kobe. Kobe. You got, LeBron. this is a different level of greatness up here, right. bro. LeBron James. Yeah, LeBron James and Charles Barkley greatness ain't the same, bro. Right. Yeah. Yeah, so keep it real. Barkley was saying. a hell of a player, great player, Hall of Famer, top 50. He is not on the same level as LeBron, LeBron James, bro. So that's all I'm saying. It's levels of greatness. And it's like he is not on the level of Joe Montana. He is not on the level of Tom Brady. That's all I'm saying. Is he a great player? Hell of a player. Won four MVPs or something like that. But he is not on that level 
of greatness. He is right below that level of greatness. Right. There's levels to this shit. That's all I'm saying. That's real. What's y'all goals for this year? First off, Super Bowl. Talk mm heavy. -hmm. Then what's your personal goals? You got to get a stack. I got yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Personal goals. Mm -hmm. I already wrote them down, but I want like ten plus touchdowns. Mm -hmm. I want over like thirteen hundred yards. Mm -hmm. Um, which is gonna be crazy because we got three of us, but we can all do it. I feel like. And there's nice. and and a lot of games in the league. That's good, y'all got Because 1,300, 1,300, 1,300. That's what I'm saying. They don't know where to go at. Who to be on? At least 4,800. Yeah, so it's still a stack there for some tight ends and running backs. Don't worry yeah. about that. He got you. 1,300. <laughs> 1,300 plus. 10 plus touchdowns. Um, probably like, what I had? Probably like 70 catches. 70 plus catches. Really 100, but. Mm. You know, <laughs> <laughs> true. We ain't gonna speak on that. But. Oh, I like that. I'm gonna see that during the season when oh, he yeah. score, huh? Oh yeah. What's your What's your personal goals for the season? Uh, shoot, personal goals, man. Honestly, like it's gonna sound cliche, but I don't want to say it. I want to just I want to just pop out. Like I just want to come. I just want to honestly. I just want to show it. Like I know the work I've been putting in. I know the the mindset I got. And like you said, what happened to me last year? Like that ain't. I think it was it was a good thing because it just added nothing but fuel to the fire. Right. You know, so I just, I'm going to show y'all more than let, I can tell you. Let me ask you this question, right? Did any, I, I, I'm not going to say, was it easier than what you thought? But was the transition to the NFL, did it go smoother than what you thought? Uh, yeah, I, I would say it went, it went a little smoother, but like, I'm the type of person like, you know, like, I feel like, how I kind of like relate to people is like comparison. So like I give y'all comparison. It's like, you know, like you like, you go to an NBA game, you seen course. I don't know, you probably said course. Yeah. Before you ever shot a shot at the NBA arena, yeah. and they tell you like the NBA three is far. No, I, 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 I knocked them down. We know. Yeah. But you out there and you knock it down. Yeah. It's like, oh, like, why was I listening to them? Like right. I could have just shot it and had more confidence right. and I would have made three before I made one. Right. You know what I'm saying? So right. it's like, it's kind of like, I, that's how I, I compare it like to y'all. It's like, Everybody in their mom was telling me how hard it was or how it was this, how it was that. Like, I expected it to be hard, right. but I embraced it. Right. And I was like, man, I'm going to just go out there and try to be me. Right. So, like, when I went out there, man, I was just getting shots up. Like, yeah. every every day, like, going to film, watching film on myself, practice, going after practice, getting extra work. Like, I'm just getting reps. How important is it to watch film? Oh, man, it's, it's for me, I know it's, the people got different ways, but, like, man, that's like, it's like, it's like you ever been to a, a a math test, you knew all, all the cheat codes. Yeah. Like you already knew all the cheat to the yeah. formulas. Mm -hmm. It's like having the formulas. Yeah. It's like, man, I know what this dude gonna do before you even do it. Yeah. Now there are nuances. You got to be able to react fast, but yeah. I mean that's like playing outside. Right. It's like you know, it's like yeah. scrambling, like like in the backyard with your homies. You right. know, mm -hmm. same thing. So right. I'm excited, man. It's like we was talking today in the locker room, man. This uh, like me, Diggs, Tank, we was shooting Joe Mixon, and man, we was just talking about how like fun this year gonna be. Like, man, it's. It's already fun, and yeah. we we just in OTAs. I ain't gonna lie to OTAs last year though. Yeah. Man, it was crazy. Yeah. It was like hard. Just, I, it was <laughs> I hard. thought I was gonna be trash. And I looked at the I looked at the playbook. I'm like, bro. Actually, we we in a hotel. I'm like, bro. Ain't no way I'm gonna get this right now. Yeah, we bro, sitting just like, like this for about like three months in a hotel, just going over plays. Played about that. She dude. looked like Spanish. Yeah, I'm talking. I'm like, bro. What? Then we go out there to practice. This <laughs> man talking fast. <laughs> I'm over there because they, they get it. They get to play in an intercom in yeah. college. It's all signals. Yeah. And I, I'm trying to just get it off, so I get How it How difficult done. was that, That's though? That's hard, bro. It's tough. It's still hard. Because that shit don't make no sense to me, man. Like, you hear a quarterback call a play, and that shit be for two minutes. Listen, double right slant, X, Y, Z on the double go, Taco Bell, KFC, <laughs> and Popeyes on four. Damn. Who the <laughs> still remember that? Like, what the fuck did he just say? Then, did, and, then, and then he get in the joint and switch up yo, over yo, high yo. in Nebraska. Yeah, no, you. No. <laughs> Pennsylvania, wait, wait, what the f is going on? Like that, yeah, that shit nothing, just seems like nothing. it's crazy. Like when the shit y'all got to gotta learn. When he get the two plays, when we go to doing two Chaz plays and, and one and one, and stuff, um, yeah. like he can call a play, then say can and call a whole another play. So you got to remember both of them plays going to the. But they job easy. They get to man, do that. Is not easy. They man. line up, bro. I got this, Larry. I got a. 
I gotta know what everybody I mean, of doing, course he got how the they job. doing, where they at. You got the hardest job. What time job. they gotta be there at? I gotta, you know what I'm saying? But it's a blessing. Like I've been doing this. I've been a little kid, so it's like, oh, of course on, it, it on, ramps bro. up. But you ain't finna just shit on us like we ain't got no. And hard it's job. hard too, but it's not as hard as I got to do. Uh, you got the hardest job, but that that thinking process, bro. So hard. okay, so when he hollering out, double slam quarterback. Play? Yeah, give me a play right I'll now. I'll do a play we did today. Uh, let's go. Let's go solo right off. Let's go solo right off. Hop G six, F Delta X Shocker. That's what the f- is that? He said that solo like a play. right off. That's some easy shit too, That's bro. Easy, That's some yeah. easy. He said solo right off G six hop, hop G six. So if he say he say solo, right <laughs> off G six. <laughs> Hop. <laughs> That's easy, man. What's the last one? I forgot the last. I just yeah. once I hop, they, they go in the balls come some. See? See, all I had to do was hop. Then you're gonna be right here. So what that was an easy play. <laughs> See, that's easy. Yeah, that's I don't easy. know what it's So easy. so in that, what do you gotta do? What's your part of it? The, the solar system? You the Z what? solo right off, but so I gotta listen to the hop. solo right off. I gotta listen to the formation to get lined up. All that hop and all that shit. I don't know nothing about it. Oh, so so that's so, the so okay. So when you I see, mean, it. I be trying to, I be trying to like dive into the run. I be want to know what everybody doing, but man, when so the, it's when like how you the breakdown of the play is formation. That's the wrong thing. How you get to like how you get to line up? Yeah. Usually like a motion or a shift. Um, or so how do they know what flip. they doing? What you mean? Is in the play. It's how you play. know what run you run? You run. It's, that's the last part. So it's formation where to line up. That's the first part. Okay. Motion, so like to throw the defense off, uh-huh. kind of like just realign, uh-huh. and then the last, the second play. last part is like protection Single or like play. run play, or like whatever the the like logistics are of the play, like how we protecting the D line and the backers, then the back end would be like a play. So like today we had a play, it'd be like bunch right, fast Z counter, hop three jet, Z curl X hurricane. You so you said. All right, Bunch so right, see. Z counter, hop three jet, Z curl. You gotta hop again. Hurricane. Actually, That's J. That's easy. As so, so let, let me yeah, say. He, the he said hop three J, three J. So, say bunch right. I want you to get to play. A bunch right, bro. But you gotta Z like fat. in the game. You gotta remember this shit. shit. Mind you, it's live. you can barely he hear. Went, he went but what I'm saying is, I'm gonna get you to play. Come on, we're gonna do it right he now. He went from okay. kangaroo. Look, so let's go. He's my kangaroo. That's a hop to 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 the Miami Hurricanes. He said hurricane. Look, so you went to Florida. Bunch right. Bunch right. Fast Z counter. Fast Z counter. Hop three jet. Hop three jet. Z curl. Z curl. X hurricane. X hurricane. Now say it again. You gotta say it to the team. Say it to the team. You in the huddle. Go. We in the huddle. You do whatever the f I want to do. <laughs> <laughs> he said three jet. Hop three right. Four jet. Z curl. Take off. You nigga, you Raise go your long. Hand nigga. You, want that you go long. It's nigga. funny. Cause, it's team. funny. Look, so my man Caleb, like, you get into like my man Caleb, I'm coming he, to you. So, I'm so like, he helps me like on my everyday, like day to day stuff. So like, that's small. like, and that's been my brother since I've been like, he been watching me since I've been high school, taking yeah. me to workout. He's riding with a oh, he like, a real 1998 Pontiac. Yeah. He's a real Pontiac. Like, he been with me since the mud. So like, he'll help me break down these plays. <laughs> he don't be knowing and look, shit. And so one day he go, he can, he say, bruh, he said, I wish. He said, I wish <laughs> would let me say all this in the huddle and then drop the it. ball. <laughs> <laughs> he dropped the ball, I'm gonna kill him. Yeah, I said, bro, crazy. nah, he right though. Like, that's man, a lot. It's a lot of work, bro. Like, I be, I be, I be ducked off during the season. That's why I don't be answering. Like, I just be, like, my family be like, man, why you don't be going? And think about man? that. You like, gotta do that shit 50 times in one game. All right, run, double slam yeah, right, KFC, Popeye's chicken, and Church's chicken with a little bit of five why guys you on the side. <laughs> Imagine third yeah. quarter. Fourth quarter, you tired Way games are the worst, though. No, and then imagine if you were a quarterback that had been slammed on your f-ing biscuit about eight uh-huh. times already. You got to get up. You getting up going to the, you tell my fuckers in the huddle that can't block shit. You like this. Walking to that, be like, it's <laughs> Z right, double slash, <laughs> four jets. <laughs> you bitches four ain't jets. shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wonder if a motherfucker ever just got to the huddle and said, man, you Ain't shit, man. <laughs> like for real, man. I'm tired of this shit, man. You that's why you don't get no raise. That's why you don't get no raise. Doing that, bro. See? That's a quick way to lose. But what I'm saying is, bro. Not not a, if you've been, you been sacked eight yeah. times today, you don't get up and be like, yo, man. You ain't Fam, shit, you gotta bro. realize though, Gil, they trying, dog. That is good too, bro. Like, like you going against dogs you too. Like, like, you let the <laughs> slam me on my biscuit eight times. <laughs> <laughs> it happens, bro. People Who the have is y'all blocking, man? <laughs> like, like, you try like, to- that, first of all, you gotta understand. If you got sacked eight times, that ain't even how many times you got hit. 
So you probably got hit about 13, 14 nah, nah, times. You, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah you get, I'll be hitting throwing You probably, depending pick. on, like, the worst I got hit last year for sure is the Ravens. Ooh. Dude threw it. You ain't even throw a pick. And I ain't throw a pick. Nah, this is the worst one to me. Oh, He threw Cardinals. it, dude. T- it's like the first play of, your, of the season, ain't it? What's the most? When you pages? threw it, bro, tipped it. And you tried to go catch oh, the tip. That ain't hurt. That was nothing. Shit. Kyle Hamilton. Like died. Yeah, he <laughs> hit me. <laughs> my first completion in, my, say, in my career. Was it you? Yeah, it was to myself. Yeah, I seen that. Yeah, yeah. I threw it. And Roquan hit it. And I went. Look, I don't know. I ain't gonna put him in Roquan was on him. He was on him. Roquan. What'd he say? He said, this ain't college. He said, all right, bro. It ain't. I know. Like, shit, I'm out here with you, dog. And I still threw for like 240 or something like that. But they won. So, like, you shoot. Kudos to bro. He nice, though. Roquan really like that. Yeah. But, yeah, they be hitting, bro. I got hit against the Bengals. Oh, my God. That's my hardest hit when we played the Bengals, too. Man. So, shout out to LT. Larry Johnson. Our best left tackle. I, 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 I was close. I <laughs> thought I did. It came I, off. I saw the light for sure. Who hit you? I don't even know. Was it bat? No, it was. Was it bat? Shout out to my boy Mitch. I mean, it was Mitch fault. <laughs> <laughs> you found who? Nah. Who from, from the nah. team? Yeah. What? 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 He ain't He's do. Say what Mitch ain't do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, what way. Mitch ain't do. He gonna do my dog like that. Man, it's all love, bro. Come on, it's all love. What Mitch ain't do? We laugh about it, bro. So basically, the slot guy is supposed to clear out the safety, and it was cover two. So like, the the safety like took off to like his half. He has a half of the field, and so like that's like wider than what you would expect. So they were in like a, a coverage you call cover six. So it's like two to they side and then it's four to the other side. So the other safety kicks and takes that receiver. You probably have no idea what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. But the other safety <laughs> robs number two from the other side. So yeah. like he like, oh, I'm gonna go kick this guy out yeah. when that's the guy he got to take out. Yeah. So he was just like sitting. I threw it. I threw it where it was supposed to be and like I threw a good pass. And he I caught thought, it? Uh-uh. uh-uh. Mm-mm. He got killed. Yeah. Oh, he was in a coma. I went to the tent. Like, the play later, oh, I got you. I went to the tent. <laughs> went to hey, the bro, tent. look. And then it's funny because one of our O-linemen, um, he said, I went to the tent. Fent, Fent came up to me. He like, hey, Tank, get up. I couldn't even breathe. I'm like, I can't. They did me like that. <laughs> like, Two I plays can't. later, we 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 got like a quick a quick game pass. So I'll take a little quick drop. The first read was I click back, go to the second read. And LT, best left tackle in the, in the, in the, uh, in the, in the NFL. Game. He, he don't ever do this, bro. And my man, I already talk, we be joking about this all the time. So he, he chop block, he like, he try to cut Trey Henderson. Trey Henderson's nice. He try to chop him. He like, he must have chopped, got up. And bro, ball wasn't out yet. Man, I was <gasps> Like, air was gone. And he told me, get up, little bro. Get up, bro. Ain't no getting up, nigga, bro. Tired, nigga. <laughs> Let me breathe, yeah, dog. Because like, if you stay on the ground too long, they take you out. Yeah. So like, I ain't want to be taken out. So I yeah. popped up. I'm like, man, hold on, dog. I need niggas. <laughs> I got to go. Be out there he, got, he can go. He got a, he got oh, a yeah. backup. He got a replacement. Yeah. I'm not yeah. letting him hey, go. Hey, bro, I yeah. got to go. But I need, my- I need every <laughs> play I can get. You're like, I died. Man. I feel like I died. That man. was the hardest you ever been hit man. in your life. Man. I couldn't even breathe, bro. We ain't hit you at? In my back. See, no I'm big diddy. body. He little. He's he in my <laughs> back. Yeah, he's in the bitch from the back. <laughs> no diddy, bro. You tripping, bro. You <laughs> <He> tripping. <laughs> bro. Man, bro. I, all this was gone. I couldn't breathe, bro. Yeah, he little body, though. You know, you see how little Yeah, he is. I'm, I'm, I'm over yeah. here. I'm, but you man, he was going to do the same thing. All the way up, <laughs> his helmet was dead. His helmet was like this. Look at me like this. Helmet was back. He was looking dead into the dark. Before we get out of here, man, who the top five quarterbacks in the league right now? Come on. Right now? I'm going to throw you in there. I'm going to throw you in jail or Hurts in there. <laughs> <laughs> you fine, <laughs> dog. Hurts a good dude. I love Jalen Hurts. He, he's quiet, very quiet to himself, but, bro, he showed mad love to me. I, I rock with Jalen. Um, top five, though. Top five. Now I put my homes. My homes at one. Lamar at two. I'm going off of last year. I'm not yeah. going off of like, yeah, like career. I'm going off of what happened last right. year. Lamar, I mean, Patrick, Lamar, I'm saying myself. Um, hmm. Well, Herbert was playing, bro. But that, I'm going off of last year. So Lamar, myself, I mean, Lamar, uh, Patrick, Lamar, myself, Hurts. I'm going Jalen Hurts. And then I'm gonna go. Oh no, I'm tripping. Let me go. I'm You're going. Tripping. So look, <laughs> final five. I know what I'm doing, dog. Uh, uh. <laughs> Mahomes, Lamar, myself, Dak, Joey B. 
no, he didn't really play oh, last, off of last year. year off of last and then Hurts. That, yeah, that, 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 that boy. Y'all not gonna say that because he ain't, he ain't won the I big you one. Said, you said Matt, Matt three five. No, yeah, he's just Matthew, he's a Cowboys he, he thing. Well, well, it's Cowboys thing. Well, you gonna put Dak Prescott in there over Joe Burrow? Yeah, I got. I'm saying off of here. last year, dog. He ain't play all year. He got hurt. Well, we can Burrow one of my Burrow one of my favorite players. <laughs> I'm out of my game after Burrow a little bit. Like why me you, and Burrow got similar that? playing styles. Cowboys. Oh, Eagles Bro, and Cowboys, they, they don't like what? each other like that. I ain't the, know all that. What? I ain't see. I don't be knowing all that. That tough, bro. I'm Dak is one of the most accurate quarterbacks. Y'all got to see them in this the year, world. don't you? Yeah, we playing. Um, oh, my God. The battle Sunday. in Texas. You going to take care of Monday night. Yeah, Where y'all playing at? Me, man. In Dallas. Take oh, care of that for me, man. That's going to be a battle. Man, Dak ain't the top five quarterbacks in the league, man. He ain't never won a playoff game, man. He ain't never won a playoff. That's not true. Why you be lying on him because he a cowboy? You got to throw a little mustard on him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Cowboys. Yeah, the Cowboys. Oh, you think they I was won this many playoff games? Yeah, Ezekiel with his shirt all up all the time. You got to throw yeah. a little mustard on him. They, they lost that many. Uh, they won that many playoff games y'all did last year. Oh, they beat us? Nah, they just lost as many playoff games. I mean, they won as many playoff games. Oh, none. Okay, but yeah, <laughs> we, we was in the Super Bowl the year right. before, so we got some playoff yeah, games I got under that. our belt. People don't like Dak for whatever he is, bro. Not only is he a dance. good player. He played for the Cal. Yeah, he, he got he, that. He, 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 he be doing that. Did you get that dance from me? Little hip shit. You be doing we that dance. So you be doing that too. <laughs> what do we do? So you be salsa into the radio? Got insurance? <laughs> what? I got guy. Oh, he finna, he finna fire up. Nah, <laughs> let, me, let me see. I, I, I ain't know. finna get up and show uh, you. I go That's what they used to do over you know, where Wallow used to be at. Yeah, they definitely did. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> now we've seen the headstand you was doing. Hey, no, so let's go there. No, nah, I'm trying to, hold on, hold on. I'm playing the headstand thing. I was meditating. with your drawers on. No, that nah, was my box of grease. You know, y'all were the same <laughs> things. And, and, and what's the name? It was my, uh, I'm say, hey, I was bro. meditating. It was a mental exercise. I'm Why saying, you got to be in a headstand? Hold on. Why he was hating on you though when you was running in the rain, bro? He always hating on me. I'm an athlete. Why he ain't let you, you feel me, have your time? You trying, to, motiv- you trying to motivate the <laughs> no, youth. let me just say you. trying to motivate the youth, man. No, let me just say something. I'm more you athletic say, than. oh my God, it's raining. Oh, let me get my video. Let me get my stand. I say, oh no, I'll hold it for you real quick. Cause you, we at the studio. I'm thinking, he about to do a video. I come back in real quick, change my clothes. I holler, you ready? Come on. I run out there. I hit, it's two blocks away. <laughs> Then he run up. By the time he get to the camera, it's already 25 seconds. I'm so, so I'm like, all right. He was hating I'm on looking. Me. This is a minute and 15 seconds, bro. You still <laughs> talking. <laughs> Every time you think he about to stop, he keep the going. So then it's like, bro, now I got coming all down here. I'm like. He hating on me. That's why he said, you could have just let me get my stand. You <laughs> right. You could do this whole video over again. Because it's. Bro, it was pouring out there, bro. I'm just saying, he was motivating you, bro. Yeah, you, you gotta pick it. a different time, man. <laughs> <laughs> that that dumb shit, man. That's like us going out there in tornado, like. right? Bro, I ain't going mm. for Y'all, boy, I'd have been training to, if I was still in the league. I'd have been training in tornado. I mean, we'd have been out there. But you get ready. I smacked on Sunday. Yeah. Getting ready <laughs> for which team? Whatever team is going yeah, in the Super Bowl. Australian <laughs> kangaroos. <laughs> I was in the Super Bowl. <laughs> they ain't playing no Super Bowl. What position you playing? Tight oh. end? No, no, no. <laughs> you, <laughs> you ain't get that out. Huh? Look, you got the gloves. Oh, my. Oh, yeah. Under Armour? Oh, you bum. Yeah, oh, you bum. bum. You don't even, you don't even, you, you bum. don't love it. Yeah, he don't love you it. You can't even take it out. Any nigga with Under Armour gloves don't love oh, it, huh? Man. This is all I get my hands on. I ain't got my, my stuff, my cleats and stuff at the crib. Some extra small. Under Armour gloves, Adidas cleats. Oh, yeah, he mismatching. He out of pocket like a pistol. And they too robbery, small for him. And they too these, small. These Sakuni. Where you getting look? You, these ain't too small. For? Show him how, how you get Come on. Ball. Let me see that move. How you get by? Get bombed? that ball real quick. Come on. How you get by? Come on. Right oh. here. Tank. Right here. Show me how you going to move. Because I'll be ready. What you going to do? I'm going to touch you up. I'm going to touch you up. Get him, bro. I'm going to touch you up. Got them big ass shoes on. He ain't getting nowhere. Come on. He ain't getting nowhere. Go ahead. Go ahead. You see that? You see that? Don't let it get. Watch this. Watch this. Oh, you can't do that. that don't, you can't do that. That's a, that's all. Yeah. Man, you got to get away with that, man. Go ahead. 
You ain't even looking at the ball. I ain't got to look at the ball. <laughs> I'm looking at this dude while he trying to tackle me. Come on. You see that? You kept it with your body. Let me it don't see, matter. Let me Listen, it don't matter. You see that? You see that? You see that? Come on, keep it coming. Keep it coming. Throw that shit. Throw it. I need to back up. I'm no, he's getting it. I'm going to throw it. I'm going to back up. Oh, no, we ain't got enough space in here. Let's stop it. No, there ain't enough space I'll in here. I'll catch it, then you ain't going to You catch it. You ain't going to You need gloves, Gil. You ain't going to be able to breathe. You ain't going to be able to breathe. Come on, man. You need gloves. You ain't going to be able to breathe. Let me get. Let me duck. No, 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 I ain't gonna do them like that. No, nah, I'm like this damn fool's right. ball. Let me see, man. You want me to throw hard yeah. for it? No, I'm not, not, not too hard, right. but I'm ducking. I don't want. I don't want to break. We gotta something. go outside. Drop it. We gotta go outside. Oh, oh. oh. oh man, come on, man. No. I hear it. Now, now you see that? Well, I ain't done it. Go ahead, and come in too fast. Oh, that's a bitch. Oh, that's a bitch. That's a bitch. They're behind the TV. Yo, that shit bounced off that nigga's shoulder. They're behind the TV. Behind the TV. <laughs> hey, run that back. Come on. You bitch, you bet. No, I got that. Where's, where's it at? Behind the TV. Run that so back. So you were really throwing that fast to somebody this close? Nah, hell no. Oh, oh, all right. All right <laughs> I ain't gonna right. kill nobody. All right. If I got to, like, yeah. fit in the window. Yeah. You ready? Yeah, come on. You catch this, I give you $1,000, nigga. Look, you brother, you bitch, you look. Come on. He trying to aim it so you buy it. No, I got it, I got it. <laughs> no, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. Come on. I'm gonna get it. Come on. <laughs> move, Gil. Move, Gil. You ready? Yeah, come on. <laughs> Ooh, that, shit, that shit was coming. Come on, come on. Come on. You want to go again? No. no. He didn't even hit you in your best. No, Tim, I'm trying to get it, Joe. I'm trying to catch it, though. He just trying to catch it. Dog, you ain't you because you trying to catch it. You playing dodgeball. <laughs> you a bitch. You a bitch. You like this. You like this. You catch this, John. All right, I got practice tomorrow. Huh? One more. Yeah. One more. Yo, he said, that. One more, Gil. One more. Come on, man. You a bitch, man. <laughs> <laughs> that joke too fast. It's too fast, Gil. That joke too fast. Hey, Gil. That joke too fast. It ain't no space. If we was out in the open, I'd have. Oh my f God, it, it is a man. little, it is a little. He's doing the Heisman, man. He like this. <laughs> man. Bitch it. man. Oh man, let me just tell y'all something, man. I appreciate CJ, man, and Tank for coming through, man. How did shut take down? This was anyway. another episode of Million Dollars Worth of Game. Shout out to the Texans, man. I hope they have a good year. Of course, if they make it to the Super Bowl, we already know who they gonna see. Get the socks, nigga. Come on, get the socks. Yeah, <laughs> we'll be there. Hopefully, they'll be there. So then we can do this again, talk a little more. We're going to beat y'all. 34-31 in the bowl. I'm predicting that now. That's cool? No. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> he had to think about it. Nah. But I appreciate y'all for coming through, man. I wish y'all the best in this season, man. Stay healthy. Stay healthy, man. Let's get and it. Do y'all thing, man. So this is me and I was worth a game. This is CJ CJ Stroud. This is Tank now. And this is me and I was worth a game. And it's just like that.